Okay guys, so it is Marcus here. If you can hear me okay, please let me know by typing something in the box and we will be getting started here. Uh, yeah, we do have a generator, but I'm not going to like plug it in and use it out here in the pouring rain. Uh, we should be okay. I mean, sometimes the lightning knocks it out, but it's uh, not too often that that happens. All right, so what we're going to do today is hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can hear me, let me know by typing something in the box. And uh, if the audio quality is good, let me know as well. And uh, we will go ahead and get this show on the road. Now, this is a special um, Saturday morning webinar. We've never really done a Saturday hangout. Um, so hopefully, is this working right? Let's make sure it is working right. Yes, okay, I do see it working. And let me go over to my live thing here. Bear with me one second. All right, cool. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to get all your questions ready. Uh, whatever your questions are about affiliate marketing, internet marketing, everything like that, um, let me know. And we are going to go through line by line and answer some questions today and uh, get you guys all sorted out. Now, if at any time during the stream you feel like, hey, Marcus, you are really talking about what I want to hear and you want to go even like more into this stuff I would highly recommend that you get one of our products um, one of our best products is the simple sites big profits course and of course you can also check out the high ticket niches as well uh, which is also another great way to get started because it actually goes and uh, gets you you know a niche and a site and everything like that so really cool stuff all right so I'm gonna try to pull up my question box here on the laptop and if you guys can see me okay uh, let me know it should be here on your screen and let's see if we got this here all right all right cool so how's our video quality looking here All right, excellent. So uh, keep your questions. If you if you asked a question already, uh, just wait and uh, maybe copy and paste it because we're going to go through and we're going to get them again. Now remember, um, I know a lot of people like to get angry and stuff when they don't get their question answered like in an instant. But remember, these live streams are not that easy to do. Uh, when you're dealing with so many people and you have so many questions coming in, you try to get to people as much as you can. Uh, sometimes you don't see everything. So we're gonna try to get to as many as we can today. And we're gonna try to help you guys out so you guys can understand exactly how this stuff works so that you can make some money online. Pretty cool, right? That is the goal at any rate. So, uh, how's everyone doing today? Let's start it out. Uh, locate the chat box on your screen. What I want you to do is I want you to say your name if your YouTube account isn't your name, right? Say your name and where you're listening from. And we'll go ahead and get the show on the road here. That makes sense. I haven't connected to the Wi-Fi out here. So, there we go. Now we'll be able to get this thing going. All right, cool. So, let's see who we have here. Uh, type in your name and uh, where you're listening from. And we will go ahead and get you guys rocking and rolling here all right we got mary from alabama we got jake from chicago tim from the uk uh sean from arkansas gratis from the netherlands um renee from denmark we got dan from frog level louisiana avelina from chicago we got uh another denmark we got uh, Sam from LA, we got Johnny from Florida, Jonathan from Arizona, we got Clayton from Edmonton, Canada, we got Robert from New York, Gary from South Carolina, Robert Elgin from, we don't know, uh, Earl from Louisiana, we got um, someone from India, is it Shabam, I think, if I'm saying it correctly, um, so cool stuff. All right, so we got uh, this thing going, let's just log out here and log into the other one so I can see your questions. I'm trying to get your questions here so that uh, I can see everything live and we'll, we'll use the, the Blackboard as we go along as well uh, so that we can get all your questions answered. So get those ready. We got Jeremy from Nashville, Chuck from Maine. We got uh, Gustavo from Phoenix. So looks like uh, quite a few people here hanging out with us. Again, this is kind of like an informal hangout. 
Um, if you guys like what you see, there's a link at the bottom of the screen. If you're watching this on the Affiliate Marketing Dude site, where it's like the gray site with the chat and everything like that, you'll notice three links below the chat. You can use those at any time to join one of our products, uh, sign up for a high ticket niche, or sign up for Simple Sites Big Profits, and um, everything like that, so that you can get sorted out. And let me see if I can get into the live thing. And we will start with your questions right away. Uh, Robert, there will not be live chat on my website after this call. Um, I'm actually, I didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm kind of out of it today. Um, but uh, we will have live chat resuming probably maybe later tonight or um, Monday. So we'll get that going as well. Okay. All right. So. Let's go ahead and get the show on the road. We're going to go ahead and start with some of these questions. So let me just get you the go ahead here in one second. And as soon as I give you the go ahead, I want you guys to type in your questions. And we're going to talk to you about affiliate marketing, how to make money online with affiliate marketing, uh, how affiliate marketing works, um, and everything like that. So we're going to have a packed show for you today. All right, cool. So let's take a look here. Uh, first question comes in from A Ailing 76 uh, and maybe if you have like a interesting name before, maybe put your name as well and we'll go from there. All right, Jeremy, this is my own custom webinar software that we use, uh, so we use that. Okay, um, so Ailing says, what is the hardest challenge for newbies with affiliate marketing? Well, the hardest challenge for newbies and affiliate marketing is always knowing where to start. This is number one, hands down, the big thing. I, I get people all the time who say, Marcus, what's the ba best way to get traffic? Marcus, what's the best uh, affiliate offer? Marcus, how do I monetize this? Marcus, how do I do this? And they haven't really picked a direction to go. And if you don't pick a direction to go, let me see if I can get rid of some of this light here. We just got some pouring rain a couple of minutes ago. Um, but they don't have a direction. They don't have a niche. They don't have a starting point. And the hardest part for a new person is selecting the starting point. Where do I get started? What do I go after? How do I know it's profitable? How am I going to get it going? That's why we offer the high ticket niches program. And that's why it's been so successful with my students, because when you get a high ticket niche, we actually choose a niche for you. So right now, if I was to log into one of my uh, domain accounts, you would see like tons of domains. We have hundreds of domains that I go through and I get domains based on certain niches. Right, so I'll go out there and I'll do niche research. Now, I originally buy these domain names for myself to use, but obviously only being you know a small operation, we only have a couple employees and stuff like that, but it being relatively small, I have a lot more niche ideas than I can actually act on. Now, some of these niches might have been profitable in the past. Some of them I maybe just didn't get to yet, but they're all based on niches that I've actually chosen that you can take over and start using and we set them up for you. So it's a really good program that you can use and you can find that at highticketniches.com. Um, again, to reiterate, the hardest part for a new person is selecting the niche. Okay, uh, what's the best way to build a list? All right, great. Uh, the best way to build a mailing list. The best way to build a mailing list, obviously, again, you wanna start with your niche. So right here, I know that a lot of these questions are gonna come in and a lot of these are going to be answered with starting with your niche first, okay? Starting with the niche first is the most important thing you can do. How many of you guys, if you're honest with yourself, you say, I have no niche. Type no niche in the box if you do not have a niche yet, and that's gonna be a lot of these, these issues here that we have. So finding the niche is the first most important thing. The next most important thing to building a mailing list is figuring out what that list or figuring out what your niche wants, right? What is it that they want? Why are they there? Why are they watching? Now, just to show you how this works, uh, just this morning, I was doing some research on uh, my YouTube videos, my subscribers, a lot of the people who buy my products. Now, I notice that the majority of the people who buy my products are usually between 40 and about 65 or 70 years old, okay? Pretty cool. So we got a, a good baseline there. Now, I, I noticed that and I said, okay, that's kind of interesting. So what do I know about these people? Well, I know they probably worked a job their whole life. They've probably never really been an entrepreneur. They're probably looking for a way to make some money or supplement their retirement or whatever. And I could go out and I could create a video on how to supplement your retirement with affiliate marketing. 
right? We can take that and I can say, okay, now I have this video or maybe I make a report or maybe I make a PDF or maybe some kind of tool or whatever, right? And I have this and I can take the niche. Now I can take this traffic and decide what they want, okay? What do they want? Want is how we spelled it. What do they want? What is it that they want? And we look at that, we're like, okay, well, what do they want? Now we know what they want. What we do is we take the niche, what they desire, we give them what they want, but we intercept it here with a name and email form, okay? So I'm gonna say, hey, check it out. If you want the affiliate marketing retirement guide, then you're gonna wanna put your name and email so that you can get it, okay? That's the best way to build a list. And once you have that, right, once you have your niche, and your giveaway or whatever it is, okay, you could go through and you can make it work in a really, really cool way by just giving them what they want. And then, hey, you can get paid traffic, build your list super fast, you can get free traffic, you can do YouTube, whatever you want to drive people here because now you know the pieces of the puzzle, right? The first piece is, who am I gonna talk to? The last piece is, is what do they want? Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Hopefully it did. And I'm going to try to get to these. If I miss your question, just wait till there's a pause. Wait till I ask again, and we'll try to get you guys all answered. Again, um, these webinars are provided as a free service. If you like them, if you say, Marcus, I like this stuff, what we do is we say, hey, go over to simplesitesbonus.com, get the Simple Site software, or go to highticketniches.com and get yourself a niche. Now, my most successful students start with the high ticket niches. Why? Because again, like that question said, what's the most difficult part for a newbie? The most difficult part is knowing what niche to go into. And if you know that niche, done deal, end of, end of game. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, okay. Yes, most people do not have a niche as I see from uh, these answers here. Okay, Webman says two questions. One, how to, how to choose a good, how choice a good drop shipper okay well if you want to find a good drop shipper you need to figure out what you're selling again what's your niche okay so a lot of people ask me this they say marcus what's the best drop shipper what's the best product what's the best affiliate offer and my answer is i have no clue i don't know i don't know what your niche is okay sometimes if i go out there and i say well there's a lot of people searching the internet for gas prices okay i have to think in my mind well am i going to sell cars probably not Am I gonna sell them gas? No, I can't ship gas through the mail, so that's not gonna work. What could I do? Well, then I go and I try to find what's out there, okay? Is there some kind of gas gift card? Is there a gas uh, rewards credit card? Is there some kind of gas toolbar? What is it? Now, the answer to what's the best affiliate offer and what's the best drop shipper is the guy who has what your market wants. Plain and simple, if they have what your market wants, it's a no brainer. Now, of course, you got to do your due diligence, make sure they're reputable, make sure they're a good company, everything like that. But nine times out of 10, actually 10 times out of 10, it's going to be who has what your market wants. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, Gary, no, you're not blocked. We're just uh, got a lot of questions. So if I don't get to it right away, just let me know. Okay. Gary, if you're having trouble with the videos in Simple Sites, it's most likely something to do with a flash player just wait for the ticket to be responded now a lot of people ask me about my support uh, we've had some comments about our support in the past actually most of the comments you're gonna see are from people who haven't ordered or people who just complain about everything um, our support might take longer than other support and the reason is is because the people that work for me are local and they're trained in-house okay so I'd rather you wait a day then get an answer from someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. Okay, so these people know what they're talking about. So just wait for that. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, ClickBank commissions are substantially higher. Actually, ClickBank's a little low on the commissions, um, and you have to sell stuff, so you got to look at that. Tim says he ordered a high ticket niche. Uh, he wants to understand how to do the traffic. Well, if you got a high ticket niche and you need help with it, best thing to do is find us on live chat. Um, now you'll notice that there's a live chat on YouTube right here that you're talking to me on. That's not the same as live chat on our site. 
Okay, this is only for the video stream. It's only for people asking questions, interacting. Now, on our sites, like if you went to simplesitesbonus.com or highticketniches.com, you're going to see a little box with a picture of me. And if it says, hey, I'm on live chat, click it. You can talk to us live. We'll help you out with your niche. Okay, you can also use our support site, which is at pcmoneymaking.com. So we got you all sorted out there. Okay, let's see what else we have. Sean says, I love free. Well, there's a price to free. Okay, there's always a price to free. You're going to get lots of good information in the videos that I share. I have like 400 videos on my YouTube channel. If you guys are new and you want to know affiliate marketing, subscribe to my channel. Watch them. Now, the downside to free is one, you got to weed through the 430 videos. You got to figure out what you need. You got to figure out what you want. It's time consuming. It's difficult. Is there good information? Absolutely. Could you make a living with the free stuff that I put out? Absolutely. But here's the thing. You got to weed through them. There's no real, I mean, there is some direction, but it's not like perfect. I can't lay it out like a course, really. Um, and you're not going to get the live support and everything like that. So what you're buying into when you buy one of my products is us, right? You're buying into the ability to say, Marcus, what's this niche? Can you help me with it? How does it work? And we're going to help you with it. So really cool stuff. Uh, that was the answer to the question free. Okay, Gustavo says, is the travel niche too saturated? Well, my answer to that would be that travel is not a niche. Travel is like a category. Okay, that's not a niche. A niche would be maybe like travel to Costa Rica or um, discount travel coupons or something like that. So is it too saturated? The word travel? Yeah, you're not going to rank on it. Probably not going to be able to buy it. Uh, it's going to be difficult. So yeah, that's not a niche. I would like to see something else. Now, there's a video on my YouTube where I went through and uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe now because you can see this stuff absolutely kicks ass if you are into this kind of stuff. Uh, if you're not, you know, I don't know what to do about that. But uh, there's a video that I did about um, the, what do they call them, acronyms, something like that. The letters, the abbreviations, there it is, to the different things. And we did like PDX to uh, SFO or MCO to SFO or whatever it is. And we did the different airports to different airports. And those are looked up a lot. So those are your niches and they work really well. Okay, do you need software to cloak niches? Um, well, that's another benefit to um, getting one of our products. We actually give you a lot of the software that I had custom built for this stuff. So there's a link cloaker, there's uh, affiliate things, there's plugins. Guys, the software alone, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on. So even if you're like, well, I don't like buying anything, I don't want to pay for anything, I'm just whatever, go buy that because it's going to save you time. And really like 300 bucks is nothing compared to the amount of information and the tools you're getting. Okay, um, let's see here. A simple way to offer and provide people to buy into your mailing list types of things you can offer. Well, it all has to do with what they want, right? Your keyword and your niche. Now, when I say niche, I'm really saying keyword, okay? So when I say niche, I'm saying keyword. Same thing, they're synonymous, okay? So the keyword that you go through, like let's say we go for, um, I don't know, how to make your dog stop barking or whatever, okay? Now, what do you give them? Here's a free guide on how to make your dog stop barking. If you're in affiliate marketing, hey, here's a free uh, guide on affiliate marketing or a list of the top 10 programs or whatever. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to link your um, mailing list offer with what it is they want. And if you do that, boom, you're done. You're going to make money. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Um, and you're going to get a list. Okay, the friendly grumpy trucker says, my desired niche is automotive. Again, that's not a niche. That's a category. Okay, you got to focus on, um, you got to focus on the real stuff, and the real stuff is what's going to drill down, right? Like automotive. I mean, there's so much you could do. That's like anything and everything that put gas in and goes, right? That's that's too broad. You got to drill it down. Okay, I've started a different YouTube channel for it. Could it gain traction? It could. Um, now his niche, he says, he looks to combine reviewing the right cars with a growing family. Now that's good. Okay. Now, what I would do if I was the friendly grumpy trucker is I'd, I'd be a little happier because grumpiness is not fun. But at any rate, what I would do is I would try to look up things like, um, you know, top minivans or top SUV or whatever and try to model after those ads that you see on Bing. Right. You'll see it and it's like these top vans to stay away from if you have kids or whatever. Okay. 
Thoughts on the solar power niche? Um, again, that's a category. A niche would drill down more. What is the best method of paid traffic? Whoever has your traffic cheap enough to make a living. Okay, so like, where am I gonna get my paid traffic? Well, if people are searching for it on Google and the cost makes sense, I'm gonna go to Google. If there's a banner ad I can buy, like right now, I buy thousands of dollars worth of banner ads every month. And um, you know, they work because it's like cheap. And I pay, I think one of them's like 800 bucks a month and I get like a thousand clicks. And it's in a market that's like three bucks a click and it converts like mad. So wherever it is, okay. Uh, Mohammed, yeah, I did answer you, so don't be rude. Um, let's see, nuclear power is better. I disagree, nuclear power is bad for the environment and it's dangerous. Um, okay, uh, where do we go? Should I concentrate on traffic? I don't know. Like again, a lot of these questions, you have to backtrack them. So like, should I concentrate on traffic? Well, what's your site? Is it worthy of getting traffic? Is it not? Like, I don't want you to do a bunch of work to get traffic if your site's not going to convert. There's no point. Okay, um, let's see. Can you make a webinar someday about how you would optimize split test, pay-per-click, or Bing ads? Andreas, good question. Actually, in the Simple Sites course, we have a five-part webinar series just on pay-per-click traffic. Okay, it's killer. We went through, I think they're about an hour and a half to two hours each, and there's gold in those. I mean, people use those to get tons of tons of uh, killer stuff and tons of results. Okay, so you can get that. You can go to simplesitesbonus.com, or again, if you want to get a high-ticket niche, highticketniches.com. Okay, um, do you think print-on-demand products will work with Simple Sites methods? Yes. I mean, anything will work. If, if it's something your market wants, then it'll work. Um, again, it's got to be something important enough for them to want to like buy the book. So important there. Okay. Is weight loss, this is from Ahmed, uh, is weight loss a hard niche to rank? Yes. The weight loss niche is hard. However, if you go back and watch my glossary method, okay, what the glossary method does is it takes your niche and allows you to drill down into other terms of people who want to lose weight, but they don't like type it in exactly like that. And if you can intercept that, you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to do it the right way. Okay. Thoughts on Grant Cardone, Gary V, Ty Lopez. Uh, Gary V is great. I, I met him at a conference back in 2004 when he was starting to get big before he did all his big stuff. He's actually um, a friend of a friend. And uh, his stuff's really good. Uh, it's very motivational. Um, Ty Lopez, some of his stuff's good. I like watching uh, what he does with social media. Personally, with social media, I'm like lacking. I'm not that great at social media stuff, personally, because I absolutely don't like it. I, I just don't like social media. Um, just not my cup of tea. Uh, but I do have to use it for business. And sometimes you just got to do things that you have to do for business. Okay, um, Grant Cardone. I don't know. I, he's he's not an affiliate marketer. Uh, he's a little rough around the edges. Some of the stuff he says I'm not that keen on. Um, but some of his info is pretty good. I, I haven't seen a whole lot, so you know, uh, it's up to that. But okay, can you talk more about pay per click and how to really link it with your site? Yeah. Um, when you go into Google AdWords and you're buying an ad, when you write your ad, you just type in your site name. So like you'll be like, okay, where do you want the traffic to go? And I'm going to be like, well, I want them to go to simplesitesbonus.com or whatever. And when they go there, boom, done deal. Um, that's how it works. That's how you link it with your site. Okay. Uh, what is a good search volume number when researching a niche? Good question. All right. Search volume number. What does that mean? Well, that means how many people search for it in the search engines every month. Okay. Now you're going to see stuff like you'll see the word free. And that's going to get like 100 million searches a month or something crazy like that. Now, you might see something like FHA loan limit uh, 92702 or whatever. I think that's a zip code, right? That word might only get like uh, 100 to 300 searches per month. Now, I got to ask you, which one per click? do you think is going to make more money? The word free, which is totally, you have no idea who's looking it up other than someone who doesn't want to pay for nothing. But FHA loan limit, okay, I know that this guy wants an FHA loan. I know he wants to buy a house. And I know he's in 92702. Boom. The more you know about your market, the more you're going to make. So what you have to do is you have to look at the profitability. When I go in and I look at niches, okay, these niches are like profit 
inventory. Okay? So if I go into the Google AdWords tool, and maybe if we have time, we'll, we'll jump on the computer and do this. But if I go into the AdWords tool and I see something like FHA loan limit, whatever, and there's like 300 searches a month, okay? I look at that and I'm like, well, I know in the mortgage market, I could probably bank, I don't know, three to eight bucks a click if I do it really, really good, okay? So let's say three bucks a click. Okay, so my question now is, is that niche worth 900 bucks to me? That one little word that's really easy to do that I can put a page up in about 10 minutes and link it to it, boom, 900 bucks a month, right? So you have to gauge it based on your profitability and the amount of traffic you're actually going to get. Now, in your Simple Sites Big Profits course, which again, simplesitesbonus.com, you can get that if you like my videos, if you like what we're doing, that's your way of saying, Marcus, I wanna learn more and I think your stuff is good, I like it, right? So you wanna get that. We actually have a calculator that'll calculate not only potential earnings, obviously it's hypothetical, we don't know what you're gonna get, but you calculate the potential earnings and you calculate based on your keywords, how much traffic you can expect to get. So it's really cool. Okay, uh, which is easier, drop shipping or affiliate marketing? Um, personally, affiliate marketing. Why? Because you don't have to deal with selling stuff directly. Like if I do drop shipping, I gotta find a drop shipper. I have to charge you, right? You have to give me your charge info. I have to charge you. Then I have to pay the drop shipper, hope that he ships it, hope that there's nothing defective with it. I have to do customer support for the product if they're damaged is a nightmare. Right, so back when I did drop shipping in 2003, or I think it was 2002, 2003, um, we were drop shipping the gas powered and electric powered scooters. Right, you remember those when they were all the rage? I found out that there was a keyword called gas powered scooters for cheap. Okay, that was the whole long tail keyword. Gas scooters wasn't a niche for me because it's too big. Okay, gas powered scooters for cheap got me 200 visitors a day and made me $16,000 worth of scooter sales a month. Now, here's how it looked. Right, I made 16 grand worth of scooter sales a month. Um, now, yep, wrong spot for the comma. Now, out of that 16 grand, I was paying out about one third in the uh, drop shipping. So for one third, so if I made a $300 sale, I paid 100 bucks. He shipped the scooter. If I made a thousand dollar sale, it was 300. He shipped the scooter. Okay, so I got one third of it. So I was getting what uh, half would be eight. So about twelve thousand um, dollars in my pocket from that amount of sales, okay? Now, out of that, we had other costs like traffic costs and, you know, shipping and whatever. And a lot of people, you know, if they were damaged, they'd just return them to my house. And I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do with these? So we fixed them up and, you know, rode around the, the block on them. It was kind of fun, but you know, it, it was a lot more work. Now to do this with affiliate marketing, right? We have to look at it and say, well, I was getting 200 visitors a day. Okay, that's approximately, uh, what, 6,000 visitors a month. Every visitor was worth $2 to me in the long run. Can I make more than two bucks with affiliate marketing? Chances are yes, right? I could have had them sign up for the free uh, eBay thing back then and it was paying like $70 a lead just to get someone to sign up for eBay. Boom, that's where they could get a scooter or I could um, you know, do an affiliate program for a scooter place and, and get a good amount as well. Okay, did that make sense for the drop shipping? Okay, you need a video that shows from start to finish, from jump start, putting in your niche and step by step, everything, every freaking step after. Solid ground, we do have that. It's in the Simple Sites course. Okay, so if you want that, right, the Simple Sites course, boom, 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 it's got little icons, little things, you just go through, you click it. Very easy. Um, let's see, Chuck says, is it better to build a website or could a simple blog work? Personally, I'm a fan of blogs. It's easy. Uh, in your Simple Sites course, in your high ticket niches, we actually hook you up with all the blog, blog, blog plugins that I've developed over the last years. Cost me over $100,000 to develop these. We give you these tools and they do all the stuff that I used to have to like hand figure out before, which was crazy, okay? All right, um, thoughts to have a site with a landing page that provides a free gift, but with a content locker. Uh, what do you mean content locker? Like for the free gift? Okay, I wouldn't really do that. I'd just give them what they want. Now, what I do is I, I, I get them here, okay? I send them, have them put their name and email, and then I have a thank you page. On the thank you page, I give them something else. So like, let's say I was doing a scooter thing, and I'm like, hey, check this out. You wanna get scooters? I'm gonna show you the best uh, gas-powered scooters to buy. 
put your name and email, we'll give you the list of the best ones. Okay, then I'll say thank you for joining. Um, you know, in just a minute, I'm going to email you what you asked for. But right now, check this out. Go buy the top scooter. Okay, very simple. Okay, let's see here. Um, Grumpy Trucker, I'm planning on reviewing vans and SUVs starting out with our own. Other YouTube auto reviewers seem far too broad with Fords to Lamborghinis, so I figured growing a family might like the help. Yes. Um, I think that's a great idea. Okay, uh, also, um, where are you? Grumpy Trucker, um, if you have a niche in mind and you haven't started yet, you can actually get our high ticket niche program at highticketniches.com, reference that niche, we'll set it up for you the right way, and as a bonus, I'll tell you the best keywords to line up your YouTube after. It'll be like, hey, do this, and it'll work, uh, which is really cool. Okay, um, Gustavo says, if I fly to Miami, can we grab a beer? Well, you can have one. Um, I don't drink. I haven't drank in three and a half years, so, uh, but you could get one. But Miami's actually kind of far from me. It's about four hours, three hours, something like that. Okay, uh, Dan says, sure, I live in Louisiana, not Florida, and I don't drink. Okay, well, Dan, we, you can hang out. You don't drink, but we don't have to drink to hang out anyway. <laughs> okay, Willie says, how do I get Google AdWords to show monthly search volume? Um, you would actually create a campaign, okay? So you create a campaign, uh, you run it, and then you're done, okay? Okay, let's see what else we got. And hopefully, is it better if I look up here? Because I can make these bigger. Although I can't scroll very good. Okay. Let's see. Okay. That might be better. All right, so let's see what we have here. Um, got that. Show monthly. Okay, are you updating your course over time so we get the stuff that actually works? Yes, we update the course all the time. It's dynamic, which means that you get everything as it comes out. So, like, if I make a video today, it's in your course usually today or tomorrow. Uh, so, really cool. And a lot of those, cor uh, a lot of the videos that are part of the Simple Sites course are actually recorded like I think we did one Tuesday uh, which was really good as a big webinar thing we did okay um, so it's always updated if you have not yet gotten simple sites big profits.com go to simple sites bonus.com obviously you've been watching my videos if you've been around if you're new subscribe watch my videos if you like them if you're like dude that guy knows what he's talking about I think he can help me then get one of the courses it's gonna help you uh, big time okay I have an account I set up a campaign and pause the campaign okay it should work Make sure you're logged in right. Okay. David says, um, where'd David go? David says, is Halloween horror mask, would that be considered a niche? Yeah. Um, I would drill it down even more and do like Halloween it horror mask, Halloween wolf horror, horror mask, you know, do all the different ones. I had a buddy who, uh, he did a whole program about Halloween affiliate programs. It was kind of cool. I don't think he does it anymore, um, but it was neat. He showed how, how it worked. Okay, um, and I see myself on screen. It looks like I'm trying to fly away with my arms, but hopefully that doesn't bug anyone. Okay, I also plan to start a blog to go over the reviews and maybe link people to where they can purchase car seats and things of that nature. Uh, you could do that. Um, watch out for the legalities of what you say with car seats. Um, so, you know, do that. But I would rather, like, if you're dealing with families and you're trying to get them to get the SUVs, go for the loan angle, right? Get them to get the loan and then teach them how to save money. They're going to love you for it. You're going to make... A lot more okay really cool okay um, did that make sense trucker guy okay Dracula Halloween horror mask yeah that would be a niche okay how do I get AdWords to show yeah we answered that I'm a simple sites member over the last month okay good um, Wex says awesome we're gonna be working together in the new near future good okay do some niches require more pages as opposed to a two to three page simple site yes a lot of niches, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a two to three page site and then over time you're going to build it. Like when I first started Simple Sites Big Profits, I, I was an affiliate marketer for like 10 years before I started teaching. But when I started teaching, it was a one page site. And then as questions came in, I made site uh, pages based on what people wanted and it grew. And if you do that, your income is going to grow and it's, it's going to be exponential. So, yes, yeah, some of them do need more than two to three pages. Some of them need one. Uh, Sage, is it free? No, my courses are not free. 
My YouTube videos are free, so you could go watch them and say, hey, you know what? Um, I like this guy, and if you like this stuff and you want more, hey, support us. Buy some stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, can I start with $100 if I only have $100? Is it worth the risk, or are there better ways out there? Um, well, I mean, you could start for free if you want it, obviously. See, this is the thing that a lot of people ask is, you know, how do I start with no money at all? And I know for a fact these people got internet. They got a cell phone that's probably like 600 bucks. They probably go out to eat. They're probably spending money on other stuff. And for some reason in our culture, it's like bad to take a risk. Okay, let me tell you, some of the best things in life you're going to get come with a risk attached. Some of it, like marriage is a risk. You think you're going to know the same person? No, you're not. Uh, life is a risk. Businesses are, everything's a risk. And you got to look at it like I did back when I started. I had $70 in my bank account. I bought a product that was 67 bucks and the product was like crappy. It just it was all over the place. It was crazy. I couldn't even figure it out. But what I did is I took one portion of that product and I said, I'm going to make this work. And you know, at that time I, I went to lunch every day. I didn't eat dinner. I didn't eat breakfast. I ate lunch and I had a burrito that was a dollar at this place. Luckily we had like this burrito place. It was like that big for like a buck. And I had a giant soda that was like a dollar. So I lived on sugar and like, beans and meat and stuff, right? Um, but I made a sacrifice, right? You got to look at it and say, what am I willing to do? Like just uh, last night, there's this guy. And if you're on my Facebook, you'll see some of the stuff from it. Um, and this guy was like, Marcus, I want you to sell me a $72,000 site for $1,000. Okay. He was like, look, I'm going to give you $1,000. I want you to give me a site that guarantees I'm going to make 72,000. That is a 72 times ROI. Okay. Doesn't happen. Like how many of you guys are smart enough to know that you can't buy 72 grand for a thousand dollars? Like no one out there is selling that. And that either way, he was like, I want this. I got to do it. You have to do it. You're a blankety blank if you don't do it. And you know, whatever. And he went crazy and it's like, okay, well, you got to look at this and you got to look at it objectively. Right? Why, does, why do people's brains just fall out thinking, oh, well, the internet just gives me money. Somehow Marcus got money and, you know, he got it twiddling his thumbs. No, it took some work. It took some risk. Right? When I was there and I started, I was sitting in a, a mobile home that uh, I lived in with my brother and it was just like crazy. We had drug addicts living with us and it wasn't clean. Like the outside street was cleaner than our carpet. And so I'm sitting there. And I'm like, I'm going to start this business. I was doing magic. You know, we found out my girlfriend was pregnant, who's now my wife of almost uh, 16 years. And we look at that and we're like, I'm sitting there and I'm in crap. I have no money. I'm living like crap, like just terrible. Right. And everyone, when I said, I'm going to start a business, they said, you are an idiot. It's not going to work. That's stupid. Right. It's not going to work. And people all my life told me things are not going to work. I remember. I used to work at McDonald's when I was in high school and I moved out of my house, uh, my parents' house when I was like 16 or something. And um, I worked at McDonald's and finally I'm like, I'm going and doing magic shows and I get 600 bucks for 30 minutes. I'm not going to work at the McDonald's anymore. I'm going to go do magic. And the lady was like, you're going to be back. You're going to fail. That's a bad idea. No one wants magic. Right. And that's how life's going to be. How many of you guys have people in your life who tell you this is not going to work? Internet marketing doesn't work and you look at it and you're like, I'm going to do it because only you decide what you want to do. Only you decide what the risk is. So if you're broke, if you have nothing and you're like, I want to make it work, you start small and you remember the thing that people forget. The first thing they forget is that you have to figure out how to do it. You have to be objective and you have to look at things numerically. Right? How does it work? You focus, you look at it. The second thing that people forget is that you're talking to people. The friendly trucker wants to make a site about families who want to buy vans. Okay. If he forgets about the family and he just focuses on the van, no one's going to care what he has to say. Okay. They forget this stuff and they forget that there's people on the internet 24 hours a day right now. Right this second, there are people. There's people uh, watching this stream. There's uh, like 100 people on YouTube. There's people on my site. There's people all over the place watching this right now on a Saturday when you could probably be doing other things too, but it's probably not as entertaining as watching the weirdo guy on YouTube, right? 
And so we got to look at this, and you have to look at it objectively. Like this guy, 1000 bucks for a $72,000 guaranteed income, it's not going to happen. It doesn't exist. Now, can you come to me and buy a blog with the intention of doing something, and I'll show you how to make it work? Yes, but you've got to do it. Now, it's not hard to do. You just have to do it. All right, Jeremy says he checked out the podcast. I think you were, were you on the podcast that we did Wednesday? It's pretty cool. Okay, we were a guest on one of them. Um, confused about SEO, have a WordPress blog that has Amazon affiliate products. Okay, well, you're confused about SEO, then you need to start here and figure out what your niche is. I'm guessing you probably bought a blog or maybe you made a blog and you put some kind of script that made Amazon products, am I right? If I'm right, type right in the box. I can see the new comments here, okay, and then the old ones here. So this is working out pretty good. All right, and that was uh, Clayton. So Clayton, do you, is that what you did? Okay, and chances are that's not gonna work. One, because it's not based on the niche, and two, because you have to focus on the market and you can't just put up a bunch of stuff. Okay, started his own site. Now, what's the niche of your site, Clayton? Okay, uh, Spencer, we recommend several autoresponders. The main one you'll see in the course, um, and I'd, I'd rather direct you to the course because you want to sign up through the process because it links with the software that we give you. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, SEO has to do with your niche. Like, a lot of people get all freaked out about SEO, but it all has to do with your niche, right? It's very, very, very easy to do if you focus. Okay, Robert says, how do I set up a campaign? That word, Robert, go. Robert was somewhere. How do I set up a campaign if I don't know the product niche? You don't. You set up the campaign after you know the product niche. You don't do nothing till you get your niche. Like if you're here and you want to do affiliate marketing and you don't know what your niche is, stop. Don't do anything until you either figure out your niche, go buy a niche at highticketniches.com and we'll give you one, or go to simplesitesbonus.com and go through the trigger words and find your niche. If you don't do those, you're going to be like dead in the water, okay? Okay, uh, let's see. Willie says, Marcus, I'm willing to take the risk and invest in myself and your program. I put aside 800 to start and got simple sites. Uh, my budget's now 503. Uh, Willie, what I want you to do is I want you to contact us at pcmoneymaking.com and ask about the high ticket niche thing and, and I'll give you a link for that. Um, but we'll have a, a thing for you, okay? All right, um, but that's pcmoneymaking.com. Just put it in, reference this call and I'll, I'll have somebody email, email you back right after. Okay. Am I ranking for each post? Depends on your post. You want to, that's the goal. Okay, what if the free gift I give away from a landing page doesn't provide the value that my traffic expected to get when they opt in? Well, then you make it better, okay? Now, there's, there's a catch-22 here, okay? A lot of people come to me on YouTube, a lot of people come to my site, and they see my stuff and they're like, Marcus, you made money, I want you to teach me everything for free. Okay, and some people get disappointed and they're like, why didn't you take me by the hand, come to my house, show me on my computer, make me a bunch of money, and then go away and make it free, right? That's kind of how some people in your market are going to be, plain and simple. Some people aren't going to like what you have to say. Some people aren't going to like your site. Whatever, as Gary Halbert used to say, sell the foxes, weed the dogs, plain and simple. Um, do the best you can to answer their stuff. Plug your giveaway with affiliate offers and, you know, roll with the rest. But again, remember, everything you do is dynamic, okay? I'm not setting up a site and just letting it run and I hope I make money. No, I set up a site, I run 50 people put to it, and I'm like, what happened? Okay, well, 10 of them opted in, good. After they opted in, were all 10 of them like, your report sucks, you loser. If they were, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to revamp my report. If they like the report, they'll be like, okay, let's make some more stuff. So it's all dynamic and you got to focus on it. Okay, Ryan says, hey, Marcus, can you explain when you get the offer, what next? Like, where will I get a landing page? You will make a landing page, okay? You are gonna design these landing pages. You're gonna make it based on your traffic. 
It's very easy to do. A lot of people, oh, I don't know copywriting. I don't know landing pages. I don't know this. I don't know that. Okay. All you're doing is you're talking to your market. If the guy out there is making a landing page for the best SUV to buy, what are you going to have, right? What are you going to have? You're going to have pictures of SUVs and like, hey, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 10, whatever. You have pictures. It works. Okay. If you're doing an opt-in, you make the landing page for the opt-in. Um, now, in your Simple Sites Big Profits course and on your high ticket niches, you can go to simplesitesbonus.com or highticketniches.com. You can get either one of those. If you have the budget for highticketniches.com, I would highly urge you to get that. It comes with Simple Sites Pro Big Profits, so you'll get both, but we're going to give you a niche. But in those, we actually give you the software that makes these landing pages. It's a custom software that I actually had designed for you, actually for me, but I let you guys use it too since I already spent a bunch of money getting it built. Okay. Um, how niche by website, please rephrase that one. So emoji, I'm going to put this here. Hopefully this will be better. Let me make it bigger. There we go. That should work. Okay. Um, so emoji Halloween mask would be a niche. It could be if people search for it again, like you have to base everything you do. If you're a YouTuber, if you're an internet marketer, if you're an affiliate marketer, I don't care. You have to base it on how people search and how they use the internet. If you don't, you are not going to make money. I guarantee it. You have to both focus on how people search. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marcus, can you, we already did that one. I think landing page tracking. Yes. All that's in simple sites, Ryan. Okay. I uh, love the trigger words, how to go with words like how to fix and how to find to get a low traffic niche. Also using Google related searches. Well, um, the trigger word method is a method that we use in the Simple Sites Big Profits course that helps you find niches really, really fast. Okay, and not only that, but untapped niches. Uh, what we do is instead of going to the keyword tool and typing something like diet or weight loss, we type something in like how to find, download, learn, buy, cheapest, PDF, stuff like that. Okay, now when we use that, what you want to do is you want to find ones that have low competition and you'll see it because it'll just say low next to it um, and then search for it on Google. See if there's any ads. If there's no ads, then it's uh, inexpensive. Okay, so that'll work and we'll go in if we have time today. If you guys stick around, um, we will go in and actually look at AdWords and we'll show you how it works. Okay, how did you get into affiliate marketing, especially way back in the day? Um, I actually got into it by accident, sort of ish. Um, I used to have a SEO company and companies would come to me like limousine companies. Actually, I went to them um, and I would go to them and I'd be like, hey, we'll rank you in the search engines. And then I found out like, hey, this is pretty cool. We're getting ranked in the search engines. Uh, one day, one of my clients, you probably heard of him, Frank Kern, um, came and asked me to rank one of his sites. And I'd been dabbling in affiliate marketing. And he's like, dude, Marcus, your traffic is selling way better than the traffic I buy. And yours is free. And he, we got to talking about life and stuff. And he was like, hey, check it out. Um, why don't you just like rank sites, forget about clients and drive people to affiliate stuff. I started doing that, worked really good, made a bunch of money, you know, stuff like that. So it's really cool. It was, you know, that's how I got into it though. Okay, um, let's see. Being successful in business requires the ability to assess and then minimum, mi minimize risk. No risk, no reward. Okay. How can I get free traffic to my link? I don't know. It depends on your link. Again, got to go back to the keywords. If you don't, like, you can't really look at anything unless you know what kind of people you want. Okay. Had to convince my wife for the risk. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to take the risk. Like, sometimes I want to do stuff like back in the day when we were first starting, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do this because I know it's going to work. So I'm going to make it work. And again, you have to be willing to make it work. Like, if you get a high ticket niche, if you get simple sites, you're not going to be rich the minute you buy it. Okay. Neither am I. It's so cheap. It doesn't even put a dent in anything, but it could change your life. If you go through it, you have to be willing to do it. It's not that hard to do. People just don't want to do it. I don't know why I have no idea. I think it's a fear of failure or something, which I've never really, I mean, there is no failure. There's testing, there's trying, right? And I deal with this all the time. I got kids in school and they're like, I failed on this. And it's like, no, you didn't. You just figured out you suck at history. That's it, right? That's it. Okay. Or you didn't try hard enough or whatever. Um, and that's plain and simple. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you know, so he's going through it. All right, cool, cool. 
All right, good to have you in Simple Sights, Grumpy Trucker. Okay. Oh, whoa, okay, we just went way down. Okay, we got a lot of questions coming in. Sit tight, we'll go as long as we need to. Everyone's in there hanging out, so um, we're just kind of hanging out here. Okay. Jeremy says, check out the podcast. If you want the podcast, um, you'll want to be part of our Facebook group. We actually have it in there. Um, I don't have a link on here, but we'll figure out how to get it later. Okay, Clayton said he started his own site. Sean says, you're the best, Marcus. Knowledge and motivational. Thank you for that. Jeremy, okay. All right. Affiliatemarketingdude.com slash live. That's, a, that's last uh, Wednesday's. Uh, this one's on the Friday page. So affiliatemarketingdude.com slash Friday uh, is what we're using for today's. Um, okay. Willie says, Marcus, I'm willing to take the risk. He put us... Okay, Willie, yeah, we're looking for you to email us. How did we... Okay, Clayton, something for him. I got into Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon, and trying to sell products. It's not really doing well. Spend lots on ads. Can you help with getting this successful? Um, Yeah, we can. Uh, It's not something that I'm a pro at. I don't do a whole lot with Amazon. However, um, one of the guys who did the biggest course on Amazon, uh, I forget what it's called, amazing amazing they they have that uh we actually did a call with him before he started that course about how to use google adwords to drive people to your site uh which is pretty cool to your adsense or to your facebook site okay mozart says i struggle with traffic what are the best ways to get traffic some ideas well mozart we need to know what your niche is other than that i can't help you okay let's see do you use youtube a lot yes i love youtube I want to start drop shipping, but I need cash around 80 bucks to start up a good store. My plan is to make money with fiber. Now, Harris, I'm going to challenge you here. A lot of people come to me and they want to make money online. So, Harris, I'm guessing your goal is to make money online. Now, a lot of people, they get set in something like, I want to do drop shipping. And I say, why? And they say, well, it sounds really good. It's like, well, do you have a plan? Like, if you don't have a niche and you don't know what you're going to drop ship and you're going to spend 80 bucks on a site, and you're going to do Fiverr, like, what? That's not going to work, okay? Got to be, got to be like straight down the line. That's why I recommend the Simple Sites course because it's going to take you through it. And if you need to do drop shipping, like the scooter site did, it's probably the best way to make money was drop shipping. Um, then you do that, okay? But only do that after you know what you're doing. Okay, Marcus, how do you decide whether you should try to collect a lead or immediately promote an offer on the initial landing page? The question is, do I want a list? Okay, some some niches like like if I was going to do a site about the weather and I was going to do a weather toolbar, okay, I wouldn't collect an uh, email address. It's just a list that I'm probably not going to do anything with. Okay, uh, Chris says Marcus's Simple Sites is the best course ever. Thank you. I try to make it as good as possible. Um, it's a pain in the ass to make, but you know what? For 297 bucks, it's probably I'm going to go on a limb. It's probably going to be the best 297 you spend on affiliate marketing. Okay, hands down. All right, you could go buy stuff for like 40 bucks and you're going to try to, you're going to be no better off than where you were. You might get some ideas. What you're going to notice is that some of the products give you tactics. Okay, if I have a tactic like how to get traffic, but I don't know my niche, then the traffic is useless. So you got to start from square one and that's what we teach you how to do it. Okay, so would CPA affiliate link inside an ebook convert good? Probably not as good as on a page on your website, but yeah, it'll convert uh, if I provide value with it. Yes, you want to make value um, and make make that work, okay? All right. If the internet broke today, would you go back to working 9 to 5? Of course not. I would never do that. Um, I am a direct response marketer. That's what I do. Uh, when I started before internet stuff, I did direct response. Um, I'm a marketer by trade. That's what I would do. Um, that's one of the benefits. Like when you look at this, when you invest in something like Simple Sites Big Profits, you're investing in learning a skill that's going to go with you forever, right? I barely graduated high school. I have no credentials. If I was to go and try to get a job based on that, I would be worthless. But the fact that I've actually learned this skill that is worth so much to so many people is like the pinnacle. Right, I've taught myself something that works, and that's what we're teaching you is something that'll work, something you can go through, and something that you can make. And with that, you might never have to go back to a nine to five if you do it right. I certainly haven't. Um, I've had two jobs, three jobs. Is it three? 
yeah, three act, four, if you count McDonald's, four actual jobs in my life, all of them before the age 21, maybe before 20, and um, ever since then, I've always done this. Okay. You recommend use one niche or many on the same eShop? Uh, well, it depends on what your eShop's about. Uh, I would do one per site. So, I mean, an eShop, I don't know uh, how you're doing that. Okay, hey, nice to talk to anyone. I'm new from Thailand. Please advise. Well, e-commerce, if you're new, subscribe, and then go check out simplesitesbonus.com. Get signed up, get the course, and we'll help you. Again, it comes with 90 days support. So, I mean, that's like three bucks. No, that is that less than three bucks a day? Something like that. It's like three bucks a day. It's like, I can't even get a coffee, but you might get advice that'll help you and go there, ask questions and things like that. We actually take a look at your sites and everything. Okay, Jason says, Simple Sites, Big Profits 2017 is all you need, guys. Take action. I bought Marcus's summertime coaching. So much value. Yes, that was fun. Uh, we got a little skewed towards the end, so we had to push back a couple weeks, but it is good. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm using SEM Rush for keyword research, but I found something different in CPC value when compared to Google. Your suggestion on this. Go to Google, search for the word. How many ads are there? How many ads is key? If there's a bunch of ads, it's probably expensive. If there's none, it's cheap. Now, if it's a good niche and you're like, I just can't deal with this discrepancy between this price and that price, go bid on it. You don't have to buy traffic. Just bid on it. Spend like a dollar a day. See if you get anything. Um, see if it allows you to bid cheap. Um, a lot of my stuff, I just go in and test it. Now, a lot of the stuff too, you're going to notice the Simple Sites Big Profits is born out of testing. Okay, a lot of internet marketing guys out there, they teach theory, they teach what might work. I teach what has worked with hundreds of millions of visitors, right? We know this works, it works time and again. I, I could pretty much do this stuff in my sleep by now and we're going to teach you how to do it. You just have to do it. Do you know anything about Instagram influencers marketing? It's very similar to YouTube. It's just a different platform. Influence is influence is influence. Plain and simple. This is why so many people come to me and I need to drink something first. This is why so many people come to me and they're like, Marcus, what do you think about Twitter? What do you think about that? What do you think about this? And hopefully if I can erase this, I don't know if it'll work or not. This is like the terrible erasing blackboard but i want to do something here about how to make money online and i want to make it very 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 crystal clear for you so that you understand what's going on and how these things go together i hope you don't mind me being turned around here i know you're not supposed to turn your back to the audience but we'll try it anyway right okay so here's what we want to look at okay we're going to write this down what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little test real quick what I want you to do is I want, like Gustavo said, okay, we're going to talk about Instagram. So let's talk about Instagram. So I want you to put in all the things you have questions with. One word, okay? If you have a question about Facebook, type Facebook. If you have a question about Amazon, mailing list, whatever, put the one word that you want answered today, right now, okay? Whatever it is, if it's Instagram, we'll put YouTube, okay? Uh, tube. We'll put uh, what, AWeber, AWeber, we'll put Amazon, Amazon, okay? What else? We'll put, um, go ahead, type them in here, and hopefully this will refresh for us, but type them in here. I want to get this, because you guys are going to see something pan out in front of you that's going to make a lot of sense, okay? So we got Instagram, we got Twitter, okay? We got uh, Google. AdWords, okay, we've got Google AdSense, okay, and we're going to show you how all this stuff goes in, so we got Facebook, did we put Facebook up here, Facebook, okay, what else do we have, we got email list, okay, put that by AWeber, email, okay, we got YouTube, okay, we got YouTube up there, what else, okay, Google is penalizing people for many keywords, no, that is false, they don't do that, Okay, what runs where? Okay, Pinterest, pin. Okay, what else? Uh, kindly help in how to do keyword research. We could show you how to do that. Towards the end, we'll do that. Um, so we got that, okay? We got pay-per-click. We got banner ad. Okay, we got SEO. What else? There's all kinds of questions you guys have. Reddit, okay? Okay, maybe blog. 
WordPress. Okay, what else do you guys have questions about? And this is going to make it very, very simple for you guys to put it in context. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to look at all these things objectively. Again, focus objectively. How many of you guys have ever heard you can make money on Reddit or you can make money on Facebook? Okay, and you buy a fancy little course about it. But guess what? You don't know marketing yet. You got to know marketing. Okay, we got buy sell ads, CSA. We got uh, what else? Uh, CPA offers. We got content. Okay, keep them coming. Uh, solo ads. Okay, what else? CPA. Okay, did we get CPA? CPA. Uh huh. Okay, CPS. CPA versus CPS. Okay, what else? Okay, let's talk about this. So let, let's break all these down. Okay, so what is Pinterest? Does anyone know what Pinterest is? Okay. Put PPV also. Okay, what is Pinterest? Pinterest is a way to get traffic. Plain and simple. That's all it is. Instagram, way to get traffic. YouTube, way to get traffic. Okay, Amazon. Amazon's a little different, but in essence, it's a way to get traffic. Why is Amazon a way to get traffic? Because you have a product, you want to sell it, you're using Amazon. Okay, very simple. So Amazon, way to get traffic. Okay, Shopify, put that up there too. A lot of people hear about Shopify. Fan page. Okay, so way to get traffic. Twitter, way to get traffic. Google Ad, way to get traffic. Google AdSense way to make money okay uh google facebook way to get traffic reddit way to get traffic uh buy sell ads way to get traffic okay fan pages way to get traffic shopify way to sell stuff okay sell content website okay so when i say sell content website that's like the structure of your site so wordpress sell content website Aweber, Aweber is going to be a way to get traffic. Now, Aweber is a little different because you're getting perpetual traffic because you're building your own mailing list. Okay, pretty cool. Email, same thing, way to get traffic. Pay-per-click, way to get traffic. Okay, banner ad, way to get traffic. Okay, SEO, way to get traffic. CPA, way to make money. Uh, content, Content is a way to get traffic. You write your content so you get traffic. Now, content can also be used to make money, and it could be also used with your mailing list. Okay, is this making sense to everyone? Solo ads, way to get traffic. PPV, way to get traffic. You are either working on traffic or you're working on conversion, plain and simple. That's it. That's it. So you got to put them into the boxes. You're like, well, Marcus, I heard that making money on the Instagram is really good. All right, good. That's a way to get traffic. Okay, you don't make any money on Instagram. You make money when people are off Instagram or people advertise on your Instagram. You make money because of your influence, because of the fact that you can drive traffic. Driving traffic is the number one name of the game. If you were able to drive a thousand people to my website right now, I'd probably give you some money for that if they were good people, not some crappy traffic, right? Uh, if you were able to drive traffic wherever you want right now, that's the pinnacle of making money. You want to supplement your retirement? You want to make a fortune online? Learn to drive traffic. You are not an affiliate marketer. You are a traffic director. That's all you're doing, right? You're like, go here, go here, go do this. Okay, very, very cool. Okay, what keyword tools do I use? I use the Google AdWords tool. So the broad keyword is the strategy and the niche is the specific type. No, the niche is the niche is the niche. That's everything. Okay, the niche is where you start with everything. Okay, um, so the category doesn't really matter. It's just your niche that matters. Okay, if you use pay-per-click advertisements, you can include Google search partners. You might end up in the Amazon ad space. Yes, you can. Um, I almost always include the Google partner network because it gives you so much traffic. I've made seven figures off of that network. Okay, anything else? Let's keep the questions going. I'm having fun. Are you guys enjoying this on a scale of 1 to 10? 
Uh, ten being you love this so far. One being, you know, you'd rather watch reruns or something. Um, let me know. And hopefully we can keep this thing nice and clean for all your questions. And hopefully I can reach up here. All right, so type your questions in. Tell us scale of 1 to 10. Again, if you like this stuff, if it's starting to make sense, if I'm helping you out, you might want to check out the products. Uh, they are really good, and you can go through it. Okay, uh, Gustavo says, you're not an affiliate marketer. You are a traffic director. Mind blown, yes. Okay, any particular tips for making CPA offers convert better? Well, one, traffic. Okay, your traffic is everything. Like, if you're not driving the right traffic, it's not going to convert. Okay, let me ask you this. If you're in the desert and there's people who are stuck in the desert that have been stuck there a long time um, and you have to sell water, how good of a salesman do you need to be? Okay, how many of you guys think you need to be a good salesman to sell cold water in the desert? How many of you guys think you need a good price? You don't. Now, don't rip people off who need necessities. That's just being a jerk, but um, you get my point, right? You don't have to be a big salesman if, you don't have to be a good salesman if your traffic wants what you have to offer. So that's the first part of conversion is getting the right niche. If you're in front of the wrong people, you're not gonna convert anything. Um, but if you get in front of the right people, then you can convert them. Now, tips on making a CPA offer convert. What I use is I use a method where we talk about the types of offers, okay? So you're gonna have this. When you go into a niche and when you use the trigger words, you're gonna have niches that are kind of weird, okay? Like uh, Johnny says about flip the market, okay? So you're gonna have niches that are kind of weird. You'll have something like we have calories in banana, okay? Calories in banana, if you spell it right, is looked up quite a bit, okay? It's looked up a lot. So we ask ourselves, what, what can we do with this traffic? now? There are no offers for calories. I can't sell calories in banana. I probably can't even sell a calories in banana book. I probably can't even sell a banana. Okay, they don't want to buy anything. They're just looking for calories in banana. So what I want to do is I want to think ahead to what they want. What does this market really want? Well, they might want like, you know, weight loss or health or something like that. So my goal is to find something that's a direct hit. Okay, a direct hit would be if I could give away a calorie and banana counter for free that they download, boom, that's a direct hit. That's like, that's gonna make money, okay? If I was going for hurricane tracker or weather, okay? A direct hit would be weather toolbar. If I was going for recipes, a direct hit's gonna be a recipe toolbar or something like that, okay? Now, you also have what I call off the beaten path, or let's do, the first one is what I call uh, gonna take some work. Okay, it's gonna take some work. What would take some work? Well, like a dieting product might take some work or maybe like hurricane insurance, okay, might work. It's not perfect, okay? So you got perfect, direct hit, gonna take some work, and then you have like off the beaten path. Okay, off the beaten path would be like going for the FHA guys and trying to get them into like find a realtor. Okay, that's totally off the beaten path. It's going to take some work. It's tough to do. Okay. Okay, I find that people's main struggle when driving traffic is probably the easiest part of the process. A uh, yes and no. I mean, traffic's easy. You can buy it, but you got to buy the right kind. And I would ask like, where did you get that result or where did you get that? Okay, niche is dieting help. Okay. Um All right, so any other questions, uh, let me know. Type it in the box. Again, uh, if you have not gotten Simple Sites Big Profits, go to simplesitesbonus.com. Get signed up right now and um, get that. It's going to teach you everything. You're going to get in there. It comes with 90 days support. So if you have a site or something and you need help with it, um, you want to get signed up and, and go into there and ask for help because we will help you with it. Uh, if you don't have a niche and you want to get started and you want this to work, go to highticketniches.com. That's high ticketniches.com and uh, you can get that we'll pick out a niche for you we'll give you the domain name we'll set up your site we'll put some content on the site we'll work with you to get the offers on it we'll put some software on it we'll make it very very simple uh, for you to go through so again 
Simple Sites Big Profits or SimpleSitesBonus.com is where you want to get the Simple Sites course, and um, you can do all the others on the other stuff. So HighTicketNiches.com. All right, so questions, keep them rolling in. Uh, how do you find good CPA offers? Again, it has to do with what you what your market wants. Okay, the best CPA offer is going to be a direct hit. Now, how do you find them? I just do a search. You could uh, use the tool in the Simple Sites course. Um, and that tool will actually go through and find you offers based on your market. Um, also, one of the things, if you have a site, this is for Jacqueline, um, and you want to use the Simple Sites course, so go to simplesitesbonus.com, send us your site, and I'll tell you the offers that I think will convert on it. Um, so it's really cool. Okay, um, I will not be on live chat today, maybe tonight, I'm not sure, um, but we won't be doing a whole lot of customer support on live chat. Those are for Monday to Friday. Uh, are these sites blogs? Yes, the high ticket niches will be blogs and they will be hooked up with all the software uh, that we have that'll help you make them work. Okay, what is one niche that you got into that surprised you the most, good or bad? Um, let's see, surprised me the most, probably the cursors and the smiley faces. When I was marketing smiley faces, I never thought I would make money with smiley faces back in 2003. Uh, when I, you know, I was kind of first starting out, I was doing okay. Um, but that year, for the last three months of that year, we made like $70,000 giving away free smileys. And I was like, holy cow, how does this work? And at that time, I was only getting paid 70 cents per download. Um, now you can get a whole lot more for that kind of stuff. But uh, that one was probably the most surprising. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was a good one. All right, so questions, bring them on. Okay, Old School says, when you bid on traffic, how do you know it's good or good traffic or bad? Well, it depends on what you do with it, okay? Any traffic, all traffic will work at the right price, plain and simple. Anything will work if it's at the right price. Um, now, you want to know the most you can about your traffic. So, like, I try to stay away from people who sell junk traffic. That's why I like Google AdWords and MSN and things like that. And banner ads, because I know where the traffic's coming from. Um, so those work. Okay, are you earning more from your affiliate sites compared to selling your own products? Yes, I've earned far more with affiliate sites than I have selling my own stuff. All right. Okay, so bring on the questions. This is your webinar. This is for you. So ask your questions, uh, get in there, make it work. Um, and again, get signed up, whether you do uh, simplesitesbonus.com or highticketniches.com today, uh, whichever one you do, just get in there and uh, make it work so that we can help you. Uh, what was the name of the book by Gary Halbert you mentioned in your video? Um, I don't know if it was a book, was it? Was it the one with the letters? There's something about letters. If you do it in uh, Amazon, you can find it. However, it's kind of hard to find someone that sells it. Um, I don't know if I have it on the bookshelf. I think it's something about like letters. He wrote these letters to his kid, the boron letters or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Boron letters. Okay. Uh, the problem with online traffic is you can get the traffic to your site, but converting is the challenging part. How do you convert a traffic into a lead offer or a sale? You ask for it and you tell them why. So if you're coming to my site, I want to learn what you guys want, right? I want to learn, hey, what do these people want? Why are they on my site? So everything has to be congruent, right? You have to make your ad congruent with your site. You have to make your site congruent with the ad. You have to make the ad congruent with the keyword. You have to make your giveaway congruent with um, the keyword and what they want. So you have to focus very, very, very important, okay? Um, how do you decide on what price you'll pay for traffic bids based on the offer? Okay, so if I'm getting paid let's say $3.25 a download, then I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna divide it by 20, and then I'll say, okay, I'll probably pay, what would that be? I don't know, my math brain's not working right now. About 16 cents a click. Okay, so I'll probably pay 16 cents a click. If it's a big, long mortgage form that pays like $45, I'm gonna divide that by like, let's say 50. Okay, say I'll get one out of every 50 to fill it out. And again, you want to be generous so that you're like not surprised by some number. Uh, that would be what, 90 cents a click, something like that. Okay. Uh, if I'm getting paid like $300 a sale, um, then I would say, well, you know, what would it be? One out of a hundred would be $3 a click. 
Okay, so you got to look at your conversion. Now, again, in the Simple Sites course, there's a calculator uh, that does all this based on the different types of offers. Okay. How do you, oh, that was the same question. I'm aware of copywriting and that, but do you have any tips on how to persuade people to on my email list to click and complete CPA offers? Yes, in the Simple Sites course, we have a full section on influence, persuasion, copywriting, stuff like that. Now, um, copywriting's kind of the, I mean, that's kind of what you're looking at. Now, a lot of people are daunting. You know, they look at copywriting as this big thing. It's not really that big. You just have to do it and you have to watch what the market does. Okay, that's the cool thing about internet marketing. In the old days, the Gary Halbert days, he would have to write an ad, put it in a magazine, spend $100,000, and then a couple months later, he'd see if it works. We write an ad, we make our page, we spend a couple of bucks, and in like five minutes, we see if it works. So, like, you have no excuse. Back then, it was harder. It's so much easier now that you just got to do it. Okay, I have a site about private mortgage insurance. I use pay-per-click traffic. People interact with the site, but I get very little clicks that go to my CPA offer. Any suggestions? Well, find out what they're interacting on and put your affiliate link on that stuff. Okay, do you suggest using product reviews or just good related content on your landing page? Well, product review would be like if you're going for a product review keyword, which I don't really, I don't do that. Um, what I like to do is I like to go for keywords that are about something else, like something people want. And then I go through that. Okay. Um, in your previous videos, you said when you do online marketing, try to do what the customer would do. For example, when I'm on Bing, ignore the ads. Well, you can't do what you want to do. You have to do what the customer would want to do because you're not your customer. Okay, you're you're different. A lot of people think like they think, and it's like it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Your customers aren't like that. Your visitors aren't like that. Um, if people were like you, Google and Bing wouldn't exist because you don't click ads. Okay, I click ads. Lots of people click ads. That's why Google has a big building, right? Because people click ads. Um, so that's how you change it. You watch what they do. Okay, Marjorie says, authority sites versus niche sites. Make a niche site. If it's big, build it into an authority site later. Um, they're one and the same. You, you have to start somewhere, so start with a niche site. If you start with an authority site, you're wasting your time, and you don't know if it's going to work. So you got to really focus. All right, so other questions, go ahead and type them in the box and uh, we'll get this going. Okay, can you do a keyword research example for an e-commerce based product keywords and find some low cost, uh, high traffic words for educational purpose, niche is baby or mom? Well, yeah, we could try something like that. Um, yeah, okay, cost of software to run our site. Well, that would be web hosting. Uh, web hosting is about six dollars a month so in addition to simplesitesbonus.com after you sign up there we do recommend web hosting which is like six bucks a month um, they give you wordpress we give you all the other softwares that you need uh, to make it work how good are your most successful students um well i don't get reports like i've had people come to me like 10 years later and they're like dude i've been retired for years off of what you taught um, i've had some people make ten thousand dollars a month i've had people one of them went on to make like i think three million in one year or something or two million or something like that uh, that was revenue so his profit was a little bit less than that um, but you know some people have done really good most people you know uh, make a little bit a lot of people make a lot just depends on what you want um, is it hard to do no does everyone get results no most of the people who buy my product don't do anything with it like I don't know why it's kind of like uh, you know I have a membership to the gym down the road and you could tell I don't go there as much as I should uh, but over at that gym, there's all the equipment that I need to lose weight, and it's sitting there. It's there 24 hours a day. I could go there anytime I want. I can get big muscles. I could lose weight. I could do whatever I want. It's always there. But how few people go there, right? Like I, I talked to one gym owner, and he said that they had 4,500 people that were paying monthly, and less than 10% of them came in every month. Right. So that's the nature of anything. So when you ask about this, you have to ask yourself, are you going to be the kind of person who does it? Because when you get simple sites, it's like the gym. It's sitting there with the knowledge that you need to make it work. It's right there. I've done the work for you. Back when I started, I didn't have anyone who did that. I had to figure it out all on my own. I had to learn copywriting from these guys. I had to learn website design from whatever. And it's like, you have to do it. It's there. There's no excuse. If you don't, make money it's because you don't want to do it 
plain and simple. If I don't lose weight, it's because I'm not going to the damn gym. I could sit here and I could say, that gym is a piece of crap. That gym sucks. One of the bikes was broken. Or I could get my ass in there and be like, that bike's broken. This one isn't. Go, go, go. Let's make it work. But the problem is, is everyone, or not everyone, but most of the people who come to me, they want everything on a silver platter. Like that guy who's like, I want a $72,000 website for a thousand bucks, right? How many of you guys would sign up if I gave you 72 grand a year for a thousand dollars? Everyone, I hope, unless you've got issues, right? Would you not go find a thousand dollars? You'd go dig in the dirt for a thousand dollars, but that doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist. Now, what does exist is probably something better because you can do this. You can learn it. You can go through. You can watch what people do. You can start to sell things. You can start to learn things. And you say, well, Marcus, $297 for your program. You know, I could go and I could buy another TV. You can go and you can buy another TV and you could watch the football game and you could do whatever. Or you could bust your ass and you can make it work. It doesn't take a lot of ass busting. You just got to do it. I can tell you what. Working out at the gym for an hour is harder than my whole day internet marketing. That's harder work to me. I'm like, I want to die when I'm on those things, right? It, that's how it is. But you have to do it and you have to make it work. Um, let's see here. A shed full of the newest, shinest tools is worthless unless someone knows how to use them. Exactly. Guys, it's not hard. Most of the people could set something up today. Right, like, oh, Marcus, I don't know how to set up a blog. You could do it in an hour. I guarantee it. I got a webinar that's free. It's here on YouTube. You can watch it. You could go watch it at gohubsite.com. Gohubsite.com. G O H U B S I T E.com. You can watch it. It's two hours. At the end, you'll have a website. It's not hard to do. Guys, you're making it so much more complicated than it needs to be. Okay. Okay, Johnny, if you need your niches, oh, chinch bugs, that's a good one. Um, yeah, just ask uh, Alyssa. We had a little bit of downtime because of the storm. Um, all of us are in central Florida, so we were, some of them were out of power for like a week and a half, but uh, we only lost it for like three days. So we are, we are catching up on them. Usually they're, they're pretty quick. Um, so yeah. So uh, chinch bugs is a good niche though. Uh, just yesterday, if you guys want to know niches, like you want to know this stuff, how many of you guys would like to know what I spent 5,000 bucks on yesterday, okay? And how it's a niche, okay? Like, do you think a guy who charges five grand for something would pay you to get that customer, right? Do you think he would? Okay, and I'm, I'm an example. I actually did this, and oh, you know, you have to do it. So we gotta look at that, okay. Um, we aren't looking to lose weight because the tender sub is on sale this week at Publix. Actually, Jersey Mike's has the best sub. Philly sub, good one. I could eat that pretty much every day. Okay. Um, how do you use the AdWord tool for research without running a campaign first? You use it with the, the ranges first, and the ranges are enough to get you going. Um, and then you can go for later for the exact number. Okay, tips for making, take this survey and a chance to win offers convert. Find people that want money. Um, but again, you need the traffic method. Consistency is key. Yes, it is. Thanks, Jeremy. Clayton says, want to make a better YouTube videos, promote product reviews on my site. See people using content that could not been approved. Please speak to using other content in YouTube. I don't use other people's content, so I can't tell you that. Um, make your own content. It's going to sell better anyway. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I'm an entrepreneur with a local jewelry business, brick and mortar. I plan to create a bilingual with WordPress plugin to launch for the global market. Still new with CPA marketing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get simplesitesbonus.com. Sign up there and, you know, tell us what you're up to and we'll try to help you. Can you get traffic without getting screwed? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Millions of people do all the time. AdSense gives low price and then charge you a dollar per click. Well, if you're taking people from AdWords and running them to AdSense, that's not a good idea. You want to provide value, right? You got to provide value. You got to make it work. Okay. Do you have some course about how to market this? Yes. Go to simplesitesbonus.com. Get that course. It'll walk you through it. Okay. 
So yeah, that's the deal. Okay, so back to this, right? How many of you guys think that I could probably get, like if I, if I went into this guy who sells a $5,000 service and I said, give me a thousand bucks for every client I walk in your door, how many of you guys think he'd do it? Right, if I was like, look, I got 10 clients right here. You want their names? They're ready to sign up. Here it is, here's the checks. How many of you guys think that this guy would give me a thousand bucks a pop, right? Say yes if you think you, he would. And if you don't think he would, I've done it, so I know they do. Okay. Of course he would. All right, so let's let's dive into the computer and let's see how this looks in real time. All right. Let's see here. Bear with me one second. I gotta make sure that this is working. Okay, cool. Yeah, I actually have it open here. And let's close some of these other guys out. Bear with me one second. Just got to get this thing sorted for you. Being super slow, but we will get it going. Okay, and let's see, where is that little image? All right, so here we are at the Google Keyword Planner. You guys might be familiar with this, and can you guys still hear me okay? If you can, let me know. I'm gonna try to get this going. Let me know if you guys see that, and if you can still hear me okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so here we are at the Google Keyword Planner. You can get to this by going to Google and typing it in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and I'm gonna do an exact example and I'm gonna do plumber, not a plumper, plumber, right? Um, let's do Florida. Okay, now these guys, this is what they're actually paying right now. Okay, so check this out. Google is saying that for like plumbing services and Orlando Plumber, that they're paying $26 a click. Right, how many of you guys are like, holy cow, they're paying 26 bucks a click? Right, that's just a click. It's not a sale, it's nothing. Okay, that's true, April. Okay. So 26 bucks a click. How many of you guys are like, that's competitive, that's expensive, that's crazy? Okay, type crazy expensive if you think that's expensive. That's just for a click. Like that's if you went to Google and typed this in. Like, eh? Right? That means these guys are paying like 20 bucks a click. Okay, type 20 bucks if you're like, that's crazy. Okay, so how many of you guys think that if he's paying $25 for one click, he would probably pay me $1,000 for a guaranteed $5,000 job? And how many of you guys are like, okay, cool. Okay, now Jeremy says it works in construction and it doesn't sound crazy at all. Exactly, it's not crazy. It's only crazy to us because we don't know it. Okay, now let's take a look at this. What if I could get traffic in this market? Okay, if I could get traffic in this market for less than half of that, or probably even less than that, right? How many of you guys think that that would be very valuable? If I could get traffic like for a third of that cost, how many of you guys think it would be valuable? Okay, I could probably get it less, and here's how I'm gonna show you. So yesterday, we have these things, and we never heard about them in um, California. They didn't have that issue. But they are called 
polybutylene pipes. How many of you guys have heard of these? Okay, now a guy looking up Plumber, Florida, he might just want to fix like a $200 toilet. All right, this guy looking up these pipes is like ready to drop some serious cash because you got to repipe your whole house, I know, because that's what I bought yesterday, All right? So we look at this and we're like, okay, what do we have here? We got polybutylene plumbing, polybutylene pipe replacement, gray plumbing pipe. Hey, that's a good one, All right? Polybutylene pipe repair, dollar a click, look at that. Dollar click. These guys just haven't figured it out yet. Boom. Look at that. Nothing. They've got yellow pages. He's a, there's nothing, right? There's YouTube. You want free traffic? YouTube. Let's see if he has any traffic, actually. Okay, YouTube's being slow. Come on, load. Got 32,000 views. I'd take it. Right? How many of you guys are like, whoa, you mean to tell me these people are paying that much for traffic and i could get it for this much that's like 10 times okay how many of you guys see like got an aha moment right there and by the way if you have an aha moment and you like this niche go sign up at highticketniches.com and the first person to request this will actually get this niche because I actually just set up a site on it. So go to highticketniches.com, sign up and say, I want the polybutylene pipe niche. Okay, I got a domain name. It's a top level domain name. We're going to set the site up for you. We're going to show you how to make it. We're going to show you how to get um, CPA offers for plumbers. We're going to show you how to do the whole thing. So if you like that and you're like, aha, the dude is paying right now and I can make money, then go do that. So highticketniches.com, the next person to get that is gonna get that niche, okay? Everyone else will get good niches as well. How can it be so low? Because we're different types of marketers here, right? Most people are gonna tell you to go for words like weight loss or words like, um, let's see, what else? Words like, um, what would be a good example? Let's do this. They're gonna tell you to go for words like rewards, credit, cards, okay? Watch this. Credit card companies. How much you guys think people are paying for this word? Okay, this will be for you, April. You seem to be into this. So, rewards credit cards. How much you think they're paying? Okay, put your guesses in the box. 10 bucks? Okay, let's see what we got. Gas rewards, so five bucks, 50, over 50, let's take a look. I don't know what it is, I haven't looked it up recently. There we go, 11 bucks, 13 bucks, 15, 10, 12, 28, okay. 44 for business credit cards, travel rewards credit cards, cool. Okay, so lots of money. Now, how many of you guys would like a backdoor to this market that's super cheap. Okay, so like these travel rewards credit cards, paying $28 a click. Okay, we go here, super competitive. Let's do it in Google. Okay, doing Google here. very competitive look at that ads all the way on the top ads down the bottom ads on page two okay now what about people that are looking for something like let's do SFO 2 okay who wants to go from San Francisco Airport to LAS or MNL Okay, so all these people, there's like 10,000 people a month looking this stuff up, okay? So we look at this and we're like, okay, flights from SFO to LAX, okay? Medium competition, let's see if it's really medium. Paste, boom. Okay, yeah, medium, somewhat medium competition. Fair finder, cheap air, just fly, let's see what else we have. 
Yeah, so same ads here. So not that expensive. We could probably get this cheap. All right, so then what we do is we take them to a site. We give them what they want. So they want to find out how much the flights are. So we help them with that. Then we say, well, hey, if you want to save more money, check out these travel rewards credit cards. Now, I did this on a similar site, and we did uh, a couple hundred thousand on it. It's pretty cool. And traffic was super cheap. All right, so any other questions about this? I know this is a Q&A webinar, so while we're in the Google AdWords tool, go ahead and ask your questions um, about the tool. Now, I'll show you what it looks like in my other account because a lot of people ask, why does this show a range? Now that I'm in my other account, you can see the exact, okay? So see how that changes? Boom, it'll change now that I'm in the exact, okay? planner okay can you do an example of a product based e-commerce website consumer based product niche uh, why why would you want to do that why wouldn't you just go the easy route and find the word first uh, bop in you're gonna be out of here because we don't put up with stuff like that Okay. All right, so any other questions, let me know. Aman, did you have a product in mind you wanted to do that for, or were you just asking in general? Cool. So we'll take some other questions. Again, if you have not yet gotten Simple Sites Big Profits, go to simplesitesbonus.com. What you're going to do is you're going to go here to simplesitesbonus.com, right like this, okay? And you're going to see this page. Now, what you want to do is you want to go through and you want to put in your name. Get rid of all this. This is just something I did on the last thing. Okay, you want to put your name your last name your email okay make sure you use a good email don't use a junk one use one you check so that we can give you your logins put your billing address city state zip country choose your card type put in your card number cvc which is the numbers on the back or if it's amex it's on the front expiration month year choose your payment plan you could pay in three payments or in uh, one you save a little bit if you pay in one then click the Get Instant Access. What that's going to do is it's going to give you the Simple Sites course. I'll see if I have it on my desktop here. Yeah, here it is. What it is is it looks like this. So you're going to get this software. You're going to get access to it, and it's going to walk you through everything. Okay, so you're going to watch the video. You can download the videos, which is a new feature we just added. And you watch the video. It'll walk you through everything. Then you'll go to Get Started. You'll be like, okay, you're going to watch this video. It's going to walk you through getting started. You're gonna to go to set up your hub site. It'll have you set up your site. It's got all the tools within the program, which is really cool. Okay, so as you're going along, it's gonna teach you everything and it's gonna walk you step by step to making profit from starting your site, using WordPress, the plugins and themes that we have custom developed for you, the understanding internet money video, that's a really good one, directing traffic, affiliate tools and files, how to get help, affiliate marketing dude forum, and how to connect with us. Everything is very easy. Once you're done with that icon, you go to niche finding. You go to niche finding, you watch the video. It's gonna walk you through how to find a niche. You're gonna be able to go through the keyword tools overview, the keyword sniffer tool, uh, the trigger word training, which walks you through the trigger words. Very easy, it's gonna have you finding niches in seconds. Very, very easy, okay? Once you're done with finding your niche, you go to the main page and you go to Profit centers. This is going to talk to you about how to find your affiliate offers, how affiliate marketers get paid, AdSense and pay-per-click, selling your own products for like Amazon and everything, CPA affiliate profit, affiliate links and tracking, getting accepted to the CPA networks, affiliate marketing as a business, everything. Okay. Then once you find your offers, 
You set up your traffic plan, very easy. You're gonna learn how traffic works in this video that we show you exactly how to do everything. Very, very easy, very step-by-step. Step. Once you're done with that, you set up shop. You make it all ready to go. Very easy, set everything in line. So if you go through this steps and you ask for help, we're gonna help you make it work. We even show you how to set up content, um, do a 300 click test, results in refining, and you're off to the races. So if you wanna make money online and you're tired of messing around and you've been trying to do this and you're dealing with info overload, this is the best thing you can do because it's gonna take you through everything very, very simple, very step-by-step. Step. And you can get that at simplesitesbonus.com. Go to this page, fill it out, click the button, you're off to the races, super easy. It also comes with 90 days coaching and support. So we're gonna walk you through everything. We're gonna help you with it for 90 days. Very, very easy. Now, in addition to that, we also have the money getting tools section. The money getting tools section has all our plugins and it also has tools. So you wanna go through the trigger word tool. Here it is, it gives you all the trigger words that you can use to find niches in seconds. You can also use word or tools like our video marketing, the ROI tools I talked to you about. We also have tools for um, backlinks if you wanna find backlinks, tools for link cloaking, tools for uh, making little countdowns, little search boxes. The search box generator alone is responsible for making me well over six figures, probably mid six figures, just on that one little tool on my affiliate sites. Uh, we also have countdown generators, conversions, opt-in boxes, uh, drop-down box generators, everything. So it's all laid out and watch how easy these are. You're like, Marcus, I want that little drop-down box you had. You go here and you're like, here's what I want. Description, URL, boom, 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 boom. Click the button. There you go, you copy this to your blog or your site, done deal, super, super easy. I've spent hundreds of thousands making these um, and they work, you just have to go through and use them. So cool stuff. Okay, anything else to pay after the 297? Um, no, after 297, you just go through. We do recommend you get web hosting, which is $6 a month. Other than that, you can get by with everything that's in the tools, okay? Jeremy says, so the key is to find a niche with the Google keyword bids and then take advantage of the traffic using keywords, which would be related, but low in competition. Exactly. And that's what we teach. Okay. Aman says, I'm asking in general, I very much made up my mind to get into e-commerce. Love your trigger words, but it's kind of tricky when it comes to e-com. Well, set it up for affiliate first and then build your e-com store. You might as well make money while you learn. Okay. So Bodie, go ahead and get signed up. Simplesitesbonus.com. Um, Aman says, because there you have a niche already in place and unlike CPA or lead gen, there is a product which is needed to be sold. Uh, so the room of experiment is a little less. Well, yes and no. Um, E-commerce is a little bit more difficult than affiliate. So you gotta, you know, you gotta look at that. Okay, Anatoly says, uh, is it true Google penalizes keywords too many and much and many? No, you don't get penalized for too many unless they're unrelated. All right, so any questions, go ahead and get signed up, simplesitesbonus.com. Uh, that software is going to walk you through everything. If you want a little bit more of a head start, I would recommend a high ticket niche that also comes with the software, but we give you a niche as well. So, really cool. Okay, Marcus, I bought big profit niches about two months ago. It came with the Simple Sites 2016. Can I get upgraded to 2017? Uh, you would. I would have to look at what you ordered. Um, so maybe get me on live chat and we'll take a look at if you are qualified for an upgrade. All right, so any questions? Again, this is all about you, so you just make it work. I think you showing an inside look at your program shows the difference between your program and others. Yes, this is very well thought out. I actually went through and I, I wanted to make something that you could just follow along with uh, without worrying about, you know, how do I start? What do I do? Um, everything like that. Now, this is the 2016 version. Let's get to this 2017. There we are. All right, so any questions? Uh, what are your plans for next year? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Haven't, I don't plan that far ahead. 
Okay, how do you make sure your page converts? Excellent. For that, you want to watch the um, setting up shop section. This is going to show you how to make it convert. So we're going to talk about creating the funnel flow, profit pages and links, and list building. Okay, so you want to watch this, and that'll make sure that your site will convert. Okay, Jeremy says, I have to get back on my grind. Thank you for your time, and yes, we'll be doing business. Good, looking forward to having you in there. Uh, Marjorie says, can you give me an example of how your what's in it for me is used on a page? Yes, well, uh, give me a niche, and, and I'll tell you how we make that work. Okay, so if you give me a niche idea, we'll talk about it, or a keyword idea to be more specific. Okay. Okay, senior mobility. All right, well, let's take a look here. So senior mobility is kind of a, um, it's kind of broad because it could be anything like cars to, you know, scooters to whatever. So let's take a look and let's see if people search for it. So first of all, what I do is I start here. Uh, April says, if you do the payment plan, do you get instant access? Yes, you get everything the other people get. Um, I don't even pay attention to how you pay. You just get in there and you'll get instant access, okay? Usually it takes like 30 minutes to get your logins, but it's pretty fast. Okay, so um, senior mobility is very little uh, search. So 210 a month, I wouldn't do that. Uh, what I would do is, let's see, walking aids, mobility walkers. Mobility walkers would probably be a better keyword. Um, it is high competition, but there's a lot of affiliate offers that you could use like AARP and all that stuff where they give you free stuff. Um, so that would work. Okay, so um, for this, I would do what's in it for me. So I'd be like, okay, well, what do they want? They want a mobility walker. So I would do something like discover the top 10 mobility walkers um, and the ones that failed or something like that, right? That would pique their interest and it would make it um, more geared to what they search for. Did that make sense? Okay, Boyd says, sorry, more questions, funnel system included. Uh, the funnel system is included. Um, we give you the stuff that makes it. We don't make it for you unless you're in high ticket niches. Um, are there any other tools needed to do affiliate marketing all included? There are some, you need web hosting. And then if you do build a mailing list, you can use Aweber, but you get like a free month, I think. So that's, you know, use it for a month. And then if you're making money by the end of the month, then keep it. Is my family doing affiliate marketing? No, my family doesn't. I get a lot of family that ask me exactly what to do and I tell them and it frustrates the hell out of me because they never do it. Um, which kind of you know frustrates me about teaching the whole thing. But hey, you know what? There's people that are gonna take advantage of this and there's people that are gonna use it. And then there's people who are gonna say they're gonna do it but never do it. So be in it to win it. If you want the results, do what you gotta do. Okay, would you be able to help me correct my page if I'm on the right path, but it isn't converting? Yes. One of the things we do in our Simple Sites course that other people don't, and some other people might do it, but you know, half of them don't know what they're talking about. So uh, one of the things we do is we actually do site reviews and we help you guys out. Um, so you can send your site, you can send your traffic, and we will help you make it work. This course is all about you. And I should be charging like 2,000 bucks for it, but I wanna make sure that, you know, the people who need it can get it. Okay, and hopefully the camera focuses on me. Let's see, are we focused okay? Okay, Amon says, let's say there's a product called Baby Buggy, like a stroller. So do I take a route of direct keywords? No. What I would do for Baby Buggy is I would go and use what I call the glossary method and I would try to find people who need the baby buggy, but don't know they need it. So maybe go for people looking for like ways to carry baby or something like that, or maybe uh, diapers, right? You could go for diapers. Like when you use these markets, 
So, like, I could go. Like, if you go for Baby Buggy, you're going to see the clicks are going to be, like, a dollar a click. You're going to get, like, maybe $100 a sale. You're going to break even. Okay, all the normal marketing that's obvious breaks even. It goes to break even. Why? Because the big cheeses that sell the products, that own the products, are making all the money. Okay, so for the rest of us, we're not going to be able to do it. So what I would do is I would do something like diaper coupon. Okay? And then I would take them and I would send them to a CPA offer for a diaper coupon. But first, I would intersect it. So in the Simple Sites course, you'll see there was the search box thing. Okay, so what we do is we use the search box plugin and we use it as an email box. So I'd say, put your name in email for the diaper coupons or the diaper whatever. Okay, they'd put their email in, that would go to my mailing list. Okay, and then I'd send them their coupons or whatever. But before I send them, I'd say, wait, check this out. Now I'm building a list. A list of people looking up diapers is a list of people who have babies, which is a people who need what you want. So it's really cool. Okay, Nidish, why do some videos not work in Simple Sites? Um, Simple Sites 2017 is dynamic. So you want to go through it, and sometimes we're updating, and sometimes it's going through. So if a video's down or whatever, um, it's usually due to that. If you get a bunch of videos down, it's probably due to a Flash Player thing. You could always get us on support at Simple or at uh, PCMoneyMaking.com. That's where our support is, and you can get support there. Okay. So again, SimpleSitesBonus.com is where you want to sign up right now. Go do that. If you guys appreciated this stream and you're like Marcus. I think I want to learn from you. Go sign up and we will help you make this work. And again, it comes with 90 days support and coaching. So, you know, you're going to get the, the help that you need. Okay. Any thoughts on Onyx and Gaul? I haven't seen a lot of his stuff. I've never been through it before, so I don't know. I don't usually like to comment on other marketers because half the time I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't pay attention too much. All right, so any other questions we're going on about, uh, what do we add? About almost two hours here. So, yeah. Again, um, I think we have about six, let me see, yeah, six really good high-ticket niches right now. Now, the high-ticket niche program, what it does is we choose your niche, we find the affiliate offers, we buy your domain name, we set up your site, we put all the tools and plugins on your site, we give you the domain. Everything is yours. So later, if you want to sell it, you can. And we set it all up for you with the logo, content, everything. And all you do is set up the landing page, put the offers on it, and we're good to go. That's the best way to go uh, if you're looking to make money. You can get that at highticketniches.com. It's about, I think it's $9.97, which if you do a comparison, people charge $9.97 just to set up a website. So you're getting a great deal on that, especially in the fact that the value is in me finding your niche for you, right? Done deal, you make it work. Uh, do you prefer AWeber or Constant Contact? I've never used Constant Contact. Um, I use AWeber, so I don't know if I prefer it, but I like AWeber. Um, and AWeber does work with our plugins as well. Okay, and there is a payment plan on the uh, high ticket niches as well. So if you wanna get that, go to highticketniches.com um, and you could choose that payment plan as well. All right, so let's take some other questions while you guys are getting signed up. All right, so other questions, type them in. And we'll take it from there. All right, again, you guys got me here, so you might as well ask your questions. And we'll go uh, till the questions run out or I fall over. Okay, sales page says I'm pre-ordering the 17 version. Does that mean you'll get the 16 immediately and the 17? You get them both right now. So when you sign up, you get both of them right now. Uh, we give you the 16 also because of the fact that if you ever want to go back to a different video um, and maybe we're working on one, you can always reference back and forth. So we do that as a favor to you. You don't get charged for it. Uh, we just put it as a separate one. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I like My Little Pony? Uh, not particularly. It kind of freaks me out. One of my kids used to watch it and it's like, what the hell are they teaching kids? 
Okay, uh, do you promote JVZoo products? I do not. Um, I have done work in the past with JVZoo. I have promoted things on JVZoo before. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can use it and, and our course does have it. We have some videos on it uh, from back when I did do that. Um, so yeah, you can if you want. And yes, Jacqueline, our course would show you how to set up an affiliate page for JVZoo product. Okay. I buy traffic, but it doesn't seem to convert. How do I troubleshoot and start folks converting? Well, if you are a current member of our support and simple sites, send us the site and send us some of your traffic stats and I'll help you. Okay, so with high ticket niches, all I have to do is promote. Yeah, you add your offers, you promote it, you test it, and then come back to me, tell me how it did, and we'll help you out with it. High ticket niche is the best way to go, uh, hands down. Like, I've had customers who have gotten high ticket niches uh, one of them actually did YouTube videos, and you can see him on our site, and he did these videos about it. He showed, he's like, hey, I just bought my niche, and he showed, uh, you know, month number one, and he made like 900 bucks, and month number two, and I think he got to like 7,000 bucks with it per month, um, and he went on to be an affiliate marketer. Now, do I think you're going to make that? I have no idea, okay? Will you make anything with it? I have no idea. Can you use my stuff and make a living online? Yes. Do I guarantee any income? No, I cannot guarantee it. There's no way you can guarantee it. If anyone guarantees income, don't, don't trust them because you can't do that. It's by law, you can't tell people what they're gonna make. I don't know what you're gonna make. I don't know what our average customer makes. I do know that most people don't do anything with what I say, but let me give you a little breakdown here for those of you who are looking at it. Let's get into something which is a little bit different of a topic. And I want to get into a topic because it's something that, that's been on my mind that works really good. Jason, turn around on the high ticket niches. Right now, it's actually pretty good. Um, so it works. Jacqueline, yes, there is a payment plan on high ticket niches. Go to highticketniches.com. That's H-I-G-H, ticket, niches.com. And there's one on there. Um, so you can get that. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about how that works. The turn around on the high ticket niches depending on when you get in, what your niche is and everything like that. It's usually about a week, okay? So we'll have you done in a week. That way it goes through. Now, Jacqueline, uh, one of the cool things about it too is you get to choose your niche. So I'm not gonna come to you and be like, you're in the dog training niche and you're like, well, I don't like dogs or whatever. And if you don't like dogs, you have something wrong with it. But um, you know, we're not gonna put you in a niche that you don't want. So we'll say, hey, do you want this niche, this niche, or this niche, or, you know, whatever, or you'll give us some ideas, and we'll say, this is the best one, and you'll say yes, or you'll say no, and we'll go through it till we get you one that you like, very specific, okay, very important, and one based on what I have, so they're all based on niches that I already own, okay, now, let's talk about this, because I want to talk about investment versus uh, profit, okay, now, a lot of people come to me, and they're like, I don't know why it has an I there. The I's there. Okay. Uh, a lot of people come to me and they're like, well, Marcus, you know, spending $297, spending $1,000 on a niche, it seems crazy to me, right? How many of you guys are like, it doesn't make sense to spend money before I make money or whatever. But I want to bring it to you in a real world way because when we look at this, what we're looking at is a term called ROI. This is a term which is called return, turn on investment. Okay. Return on investment. Now, when you're buying something that you're learning, you have to look at the ROI a little bit differently. For example, if I send my kids to school and I spend $100,000 for them to go to school, which actually one of them wants to go and it's looking like it's gonna be about 250,000, okay, for a specialty school. So we look at this and we're like, okay, if I go to school and I do everything I say, so I gotta go, I gotta shell out 250 or 100,000 bucks or I gotta get student loans. I go to that school, I gotta get good grades, I gotta do the work, I gotta spend the time doing the stuff. At the end of the time, there are no guarantees. They don't guarantee you a job. Folks, if you've been to college, you know they don't guarantee nothing. They guarantee you'll get a piece of paper that says you might be able to get a job. And half the people are going and getting jobs that are way beneath them because it's just tough out there, right? You got to do it the right way. That's why this is so important. Whether you're looking to supplement your retirement, whether you're looking to make a fortune, whether you're looking to just make ends meet, that's why this is so important. You got to pave your own way if you want it to work. And I thank God that I have learned to pave my own way because there would be no other way for a barely out of high school, like nothing, right? It was like either 
do this or like starve or whatever. Okay, I probably would have found a way some other way, but I'm glad this is the way I chose. But at any rate, you get no guarantee. Okay. Now people come to me and they're like, Marcus, I want a guarantee. I want a guarantee. There's no guarantees in life. Sorry, nothing. Is our product refundable? No. Why? Because I'm going to teach you. Okay, you go to college, there ain't no refunds, there ain't no guarantees. So you look at this and you're like, they go to college for this time. Okay, now at the end of college, let's say, you know, they're not going to be a doctor because that's going to cost a lot more. They go, let's say, maybe they make sixty to $70,000 a year. Okay, maybe, maybe, probably less than that. It's probably like 40 thousand a year or something like that okay so you look at that you spend 250 grand you make 60 grand a year if you're lucky and there's no guarantees and you got to do all the stuff now there's a better way there's a different way that I look at it because this is the ROI what is the return on your investment well the rate of return on my investment here is if I spend a hundred grand that means I got to work about three years to pay that off and obviously I'm living at that point too so it's very difficult uh, 250 it's a lot more so you're looking at what uh, about six years at 250 okay so we're looking at that that's the ROI if you're lucky if it works if everything falls in your favor now how many of you guys have kids that went to school in college and college is great by the way if you know what you're going there for um, but how many of you guys know kids or you yourself went to college you thought you were guaranteed a job and you found out that you or maybe someone you know can't get a job and now they're like I spent all this money I got student loans and now I got to go work at a Walmart or whatever so that I can make ends meet right how many of you guys know that I know people like that if you do type it in the box I always like when you type stuff in the box because it gives me an excuse to fill my cup up here okay how many of you guys know people like that I think my chat might be slowed okay so we look at that and we're like great that's what you're looking at now when you're looking at this other stuff let's take a look at other investments right you want other stuff all right if you were going to buy a franchise okay franchise let's say you were to buy like a subway or a, you know some kind of franchise and you're like okay check this out franchise if you were to buy a franchise I know a guy who spent about four hundred and fifty dollars or four hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay and he set up his franchise how much do you think he's making today my right, four hundred fifty thousand bucks to set this thing up and he works 16 hour days so he has to work 16 hours a day on his feet very difficult okay he sets it up 450 grand he works 16 hours at his place and he makes about eighty thousand dollars a year so what he did is he bought himself a job okay at the end of five years he's paid off for his place and then he still has to work and he's still got to make money and it's insane right how many of you guys are like damn that's crazy or let's say you want to do like a McDonald's or something it's about 1.5 to 2 million dollars to start a McDonald's now from the last I heard I don't know if these numbers are exact but the last I heard a McDonald's will make anywhere from like 30 to $50,000 a month for the owner okay again $50,000 a month times uh, what's that 12 that's uh, what are we looking at $600,000 a year right so again three to four years for payoff okay and you got to risk all that up front how many of you guys are like yeah I got to risk all that that's crazy I got to do it all right here's what we're talking about I'm talking about an invest in like a measly 297 bucks and you're gonna learn a skill that you can use forever okay you're gonna learn it you'll be able to use it forever this is the skill that like I read all these books and I went through all these videos to try to learn and you can't see it on here but this bookshelf actually goes all the way down to the floor okay and that's not even all of them and I went through and I read stuff like this this right up here right all these are on marketing and I went through and I went to marketing conferences and I learned and I watched things and I spent time learning it um, all this stuff about persuasion right books about persuasion books about all this stuff so what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, save yourself 17 years because that's what it's taken me right it's taken me 17 years now personally I have spent well over two hundred thousand dollars learning this stuff 
I also spent $100,000 plus developing software that you guys get access to. So you're getting an education. Okay, you're not gonna get everything I learned. I'll try to give you as much as I can, but some of it I forgot, right? For 297 bucks, right? And, and, and people come to me and they say, that doesn't make any sense, Marcus. Well, look at the alternative. Look at the alternative, right? You go there. I mean, even if you signed up for a college class, just one, it's going to be, I think I was going to sign up for philosophy just for fun. It was like a thousand bucks just for a six month class or whatever a, a thing is. And you look at it and it's like, okay, check this out, right? $297 is a drop in the bucket, drop in the bucket. Like if you can make a dollar a day, you're paid off in like what eight months or whatever. But how many of you guys think I can help you make a dollar a day? I hope you think I, I can help you do more, right? You look at it. You get a high ticket niche, 997. Boom. You look at it. It's like you go through. You're going to get an education. You're going to learn how it works. You're going to follow through. You're going to do it. The only way to make it in this world, if you're not going this route, is to learn yourself. Like Jim Rohn used to say, um, formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune, right? Think about that. Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. What we're talking about here is learning this stuff the way you need to. Now, luckily, this self-education isn't like I went through where I had to figure it out and piece it together. I've actually gone through and I've done this stuff. And I've pieced it out and I've figured out what you need. And I've put it together in a way that's like going through it. Okay. All right, we got questions coming in. How many courses, what packages do you offer? Is there an all-in-one or you just buy an individual course only specific to your experience? I'm just starting from scratch. Boydy, get a high-ticket niche. Go to highticketniches.com, get started there. Okay, what I tell everyone to do, because some people come to me, like I had a guy watch my YouTube video and he's like, he came on live chat and he's like, I want to do this and I'm going to pay 20,000 bucks right now. And I'm like, chill, get a high-ticket niche. Let's take it from there. He got the high-ticket niche. He started making money and then of course he was like yeah here's 20 grand go do all this right we helped him out with it but first start there okay i don't just start small say whether you could start with simple sites simplesitesbonus.com whether you start with high ticket niches start somewhere if you need more we'll talk about it then i'll try to help you as much as i can in these and then you know later if you're like hey i want you to build my whole funnel okay that's going to be a little bit more but we'll talk about that and we'll help you do it um some of my uh, students have gone on to be partners in projects I've done and things like that. So this is like a relationship, right? It's not a one-time deal. People are, Marcus, are you going to take the money and run? Yeah, I'm going to take your 297 and I'm going to run about 14 feet. And when I run out of gas, because 297 doesn't get you very far, right? That's silly. Look at it objectively. I've been in business 17 years. We're not going anywhere. We're here to help you if you're willing to do it. Sure, there's some people who have complained about our support or whatever. Nine times out of ten, they emailed the wrong person, right? We get people who are like, I want support for ClickBank. I'm like, I'm not ClickBank. And then they complain, and it's like, well, I don't own that company. You're not going to go to Target and try to get a refund for something you bought at Walmart, right? And that's why they complain. 90% um, of the complaints online are people who haven't even bought the product, okay? They're actually part of another company that does all kinds of junk. But at any rate, you got to look at it. Okay, you got to say, who has the information I want? Who has the chops? I got to ask you, you've been here with me two hours today, if you've been on the whole thing. Do you think I know what I'm talking about? Do you think I've done this a few hundred times to where I can almost do it in my sleep? Exactly, right? Uh, Marcus, have you ever thought of opening your own online school? I kind of do have one. Uh, every year we do have like a, a coaching where they go through it in detail. Um, right now it's not available. We're just ending one of our other ones, but we do have like a little school kind of thing um okay april's getting something to drink too all right april did you get signed up for simple sites yet i saw you on there uh venu i'm doing the same because if i don't know about marketing and sales then how can i do what you are doing giving the highest value to my clients you're going to learn about marketing and sales that's what this course teaches you some people are going to teach you to build a blog and put an affiliate link on it we do teach that but we're going to teach you behind the scenes why it works if you know why it works, you can take it anywhere, right? I can go write magazine ads right now and make money. I can go write ads for TV and make money because I know the stuff that I know and that's what you're going to learn. Okay, um, Jamal had a good idea. School will never tell you that you're wasting your money. Yeah, school is good. I mean, like my kids wanna go to, to college. 
for a very specific thing. Okay, now in addition to them going to college, I'm teaching them how to make their own way as well because I don't care what you know, if no one's gonna hire you or if your job's cheaper somewhere else, you're out, right? So this is about security. Security, like you look at it, it's like people say, well, Marcus, aren't you worried about doing your own thing? Because what if you don't make it? What if it doesn't work? Well, people are getting fired left and right at their jobs. But because of what I know, I've been able to do this 17 years. 17 years making high six figures, seven figures some years, um, and it's been very good to me, right? So we look at it and it works extremely well. And I'm a small fry. There's people that make more than me who have gone through my course. There's people that have huge employees and businesses and things that make a ton more, right? So you gotta look at it and say, well, how does it work? Now, again, right, I didn't invest two million bucks in a McDonald's. I don't have to deal with all the junk, but I'm making what the guy's making, probably more, right? So we look at it and we're like, hey, check this out. And I work from home. My house is right over there. You can see it actually, let me see if we can see it here. I had this office built in my backyard so that I can hang out. And I was very specific because I like to watch the kids play. And so I wanted a view of the pool. So I had this office built here. And I don't know if you could see it out there it might take a minute to adjust. Yeah, we'll have to do that at a later time. But my pool's right up there so I can see everyone playing and the bear walks by and we've got a bunch of squirrels out there. And it's pretty cool, right? And I work home. I work at home and work when I want. Uh, actually, during the summer times, I hardly work, which some customers get a little irritated at. But, you know, we're here. I have people that help you. Um, but, you know, I try to work like two, three hours a day during the summertime just because I like to play. All right. Um, so reading the books and going to the conferences is also a self-education, right? Yes. Start here. Start making money, right? When I say I spent 200000 on my learning, okay, I didn't start out and spend two hundred grand right away. I didn't do that. I spent 67 bucks on a product. I learned how to make it work. Then I built sites for people. I learned to build sites, right? And you can do this. You can use this and sell sites. There's sites, the people that don't have sites yet, and you could charge them 2000 bucks for a site. Easy. Um, but you make it work it. Okay, so you have to do it. So focus on that. I didn't spend it all at once. Go along as you go. Whether you start with the 297 at simplesitesbonus.com, whether you start at highticketniches.com, start. And then as you go, get the rest of the stuff. People say, well, how much should I invest? Well, start small, right? When you make your thousand bucks back, invest it in something else or invest half of it or whatever, uh, but make it work. Are all the high ticket niches that you give away different niches entirely? Yes. Um, they're all very different, and um, some of them are similar. Like, there might be a guy in, like, ab workouts and a guy in, like, calories. They're both in weight loss, but they're very different. So you're not going to overlap. Um, so you will get a different one. And if you ask me, we'll tell you what is a good one, low competition, stuff like that. Okay, so Matthew, get in there, uh, highticketniches.com, and uh, we will actually be in contact with you right after you order. Right after you get your high ticket niche at highticketniches.com, you're going to want to go to pcmoneymaking.com, put in your ticket, and tell me a little bit about yourself, what you want, and we'll help you get that going. Okay, that by far is the best way to get started. Okay, simple sites is good, but high ticket niches is uh, the better way to go. But start where you, where you can, right? All right, so any other questions, let me know. Looks like we're going on, what are we at here? about two hours and 15 minutes. So any other questions, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, get signed up while you're on the call and I will actually give you guys some special bonuses if you get signed up while you're on with us live. Um, that's always fun to do. So maybe we'll have like a free one hour training or something uh, with the people who sign up on this call specifically. Okay, Tim says, I had to drop off for a while so I'll watch the replay. Um, is there a fi private Facebook for students? Yes, we do have a Facebook for our students. Um, it's within your course, there's a little button. There's not a whole lot of activity in there. We usually get more private stuff uh, on the tickets and stuff like that. All right, so any other questions? I think I'll tone this down since we're getting so much light. There we go, that should be better. All right, so any last-minute questions? 
go ahead and hop in there. We can hop on the computer again if you guys want to hang out a little bit more. Um, looks like, let's see. Yeah, we still got quite a few people on here. Will this offer still be going on the first? Um, I don't know. For the high ticket niches, it depends on how many we have. So it does sell out and it is legitimate because we can only build so many at a time. Um, what I would say April is get the simple sites first and then later you can upgrade. Um, if you're wondering where to start, you can always start at simple sites first and then upgrade to a high ticket niche later. Um, we don't penalize you, we'll just charge you the difference for that. Okay. Uh, how would you get the money for the course if you couldn't? Um, well, you know, there's lots of ways to do it. For me, um, there's been times where I wanted to get something and I couldn't. I put it on a credit card. I borrowed it or whatever. Uh, do what you got to do. You know what you need to do. Uh, make it happen. Just get in there and do it uh, or use our payment plan. Okay. Would you recommend asking for a niche for just free traffic? paid traffic or both uh, either or right if you want to do free traffic like if you're on a budget tell me we'll get you a free traffic niche and we'll tell you the traffic plan to do it okay okay Taryn says Terrence Terrence says if you already started a blog to do affiliate marketing do we need to scrap it and start over after you sign up send me a link to it and I'll tell you I don't know based on how it is right now because I don't know it might be good it might be salvageable uh, or it might not be okay all right cool any other questions let me know what I'll do also is I'll be on live chat for maybe a couple hours after this um, until dinner time because I gotta cook something but uh, we'll be there to hang out with you too if you have any questions about uh, getting started All right, and I'll turn that on now. So if you have any questions on live chat, we can sort you out there. And if you ever want to get us on live chat, if you ever have questions about your purchases or questions before or questions about your niches or questions about the software, uh, you could always get us on our sites. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second here. Let's see what we got. And one second. We'll go over to the computer and show you how it works. So um, let's see. Get back into the computer. Where'd we go? All right, there we go. So uh, for high ticket niches, if you're at, if you're going to go simplesitesbonus.com, just fill this out. I know it says 16 here. It's because it's a pain in the butt. We had some issues with our order form images, so we had to switch them over. Um, but you are getting 17. So you just fill that out. Choose your payment plan. Click Get Instant Access. Whether you use the payment plan or the pay in full doesn't matter. You still get instant access. Uh, if you're looking for highticketniches.com, you want to go to high ticket uh, let's see, no space. ticket niches.com. Okay, you're gonna fill this out. All right, you put all your info in here. Okay, choose your payment plan. Again, we build your site whether you use the payment plan or not. Uh, we build it like now, so I mean. You're going to get it right away. There's no waiting if you use the payment plan. We don't penalize you for that. Um, so you can get in there, use that, you fill it out. And then when you're done, it'll take you to a page that'll say, hey, um, you know, here's how you get your niche started. Here's how you make it work. Um, and that's how it works. Now, for the live chat, if you ever need to get us, um, you can see the live chat on the bottom of all our pages. It looks like this, right? And you can just click it. And you just put your info in and you can talk to us direct when we're on, right? I right, like that. And then I'll start a chat and you'll actually be able to tell, uh, talk to us, okay? So, pretty cool. And you can talk to us live, get questions answered, new plugins, tools, whatever you need. Um, we're there to help you. All right, so let me see where my questions went. All right, Sean says, thanks for your time and help today. Lots of value from viewers' questions. All right, Sean, thanks for that. Um, and if you guys appreciated this, sign up for one of our products, let us know, and uh, you'll like it even more. So pretty cool stuff. All right, uh, do you recommend Google advertising or Bing? Depends on your niche. 
like I would use both if they're profitable. All right, so any other questions? And did we have a question I came over to the computer for? I think we did. All right, newbie says, very valuable info, thanks. All right, no problem. And if you're a newbie and you're making videos for the newbies, or if you've been doing it for a while, um, we can help you with that as well. Now, if you have something um, that you want, um, like you have a site that you want help with, we will help you with that as well as part of the high ticket niches. Okay, am I originally from Central Florida, Florida, or is that where I live? No, I'm actually from Southern California. Then we moved to Northern California. Now we're here. All right, so if you're on the High Ticket Niches page, make sure you fill that out and click that button right now um, because I'm not exactly sure how many we have left, but uh, I will have to figure that out and cap it up. Okay, did you mention we get one-on-one -on -one training if we sign up today? Yes, Matthew, if you sign up right now today, whether it's for a high-ticket niche or um, whether it's for simple sites, I'll give you a free training. We'll give you a one-hour free training um, for the high-ticket niche and a 30-minute training session with the simple sites. Jacqueline says, thanks for your time. Lots of value. You're welcome. Looking forward to working with you. Okay, Newbie says, what offers do you recommend for a weather niche, such as weather toolbars, what CPA network? Um, Newbie, that's one where I don't want to give too much away. Uh, so get simple sites and then ask me that, and we'll show you how to do that. Mohammed, I got in trouble for saying that on one of my things, but I didn't say it exactly like that. But yeah, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna say something political, you have to have something to back it up. That's my rule. Okay, so if you're gonna say something political, be able to back it up. All right, so highticketniches.com or simplesitesbonus.com. Fill that form out. Okay, any questions? Let me know. All right, looks like we got. Quite a few people get in the high ticket niches. Tom, Sarah, all right, good to have you in there. All right, a couple others too. It's just going slow for me. Got a refresh or something. All right, so other questions. We'll go for a couple more minutes and then we'll get you guys to go sign up and we'll go take it from there. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Okay, now we don't want to turn this into a political thing, so no political stuff from here on out. We'll have another webinar where we can talk politics. All right, so any questions? All right, cool. So go ahead and get signed up. I don't think there's any other questions. Go to highticketniches.com if you want to niche. Fill the form out. It looks like this. Choose your payment plan. Click the button. Or go to simplesitesbonus.com to get the Simple Sites Big Profit software. And go right here. Fill this out. Click the payment plan or the pay in full if you want to save money. Click the button. I will give you till 5 o'clock Eastern time, which is in about 35 minutes. 
If you sign up within the next 35 minutes, I'll give you the bonuses, including the special um, one hour or 30 minute um, training session. So with Simple Sites, to recap, here's what you're getting. You're getting the software that you saw on the screen, 90 days personal support and coaching, CPA Insider Swipe File, which gives you access to see the sites that actually made me money. This alone is worth way more than the price of the course. Tons of easy to use plugins and software that you can use right now to start earning online. Easy to follow training software that guides you through my paint by number system. Excuse me. In-depth niche market training. You drink something. That'll guide uh, in-depth niche market training so you can find hot niches in seconds. Exclusive CPA training plus guaranteed acceptance to the top affiliate networks and much more. Works on Mac, Windows PC, and any device with internet access. For our high ticket niches, if you're going to take the plunge today and get one of those, you can go here. You're going to get a personal niche market selection from my high ticket niches. Again, I think the plumbing one is still up for grabs if you want that. Otherwise, you're going to get one just as good. That's a 1277 or 1227 value. You're going to get a top tier niche and a domain name, which you're going to own, which is a 297 value. You're going to get affiliate offer and profit center guidance, easy to follow traffic plan and videos, a custom blog theme and logo design, my killer profit plugins, killer keyword content loaded pages times four, you get four of them, and 90 days support and coaching. So get yourself signed up, get started. Let's make some money online together. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to look look forward to seeing you and uh, we will make it work okay what's uh, i got a, a bunch of questions they always do this at the end okay um you suggest seo or google ads for a beginner depends on the niche you're in what's the difference between the two the two programs or google and seo Okay. All right, so yeah, the difference is free and paid traffic. But yeah, the difference between the products, in the high ticket niches, you're getting everything in Simple Sites, but you also get a niche. So we're gonna give you a, a site and everything like that. Um, the other one is kind of like a do it yourself. So that's about it for now. Go get signed up. Let's make some money online. I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Remember, this is everything you need to get started, especially with the high ticket niches program. It is worth its weight in gold if you focus on it and we're going to help you make it work, but you have to take the next step. You got to look at this. If you've been on this webinar for two hours, I know that you're interested in learning this. If you've been watching this, you're interested in it. It's time to stop messing around. It's time to take the plunge. Whether you got to use the payment plan, whatever you got to do, get in there. Let's make it work and let me help you get where you want to go so that you can finally profit online. If you're tired of info overload and you want someone to help you do this business, start to finish, get signed up. SimpleSitesBonus.com or HighTicketNiches.com. Get in there. You got 30 minutes to take advantage of the bonus. I look forward to talking to each and every one of you individually and helping you on your journey to making money online. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next call. And I'll see you in the courses too. Thanks again. See you on the inside.